Yeah. Anthony, oh. make make more cheesy bread with pickles. Mm, we don't have any. We went to the grocery store today, but we didn't get any of that. All right. It's okay. Yeah. I didn't get any of it either. Any of the cheesy bread with pickles that we had? So good. Yeah. Of time. Yep. They made it, and they're just like, sit back there, brown man. And I was just like... Anthony is brown, too. I think he's even a little bit more browner than you right now. It's only the camera. I'm pretty... I'm pretty... Right. Graceful. Just the camera. I I've got, like, a weird farmer's tan. Uh, farmer. Like, from here to here, I'm Anthony, and then from here, here uh, is, like, Dan. I have Gross. no tan. So... I'm quiet. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We we are getting we are getting on too fucking far. So we've taken care of the goals. We've taken care of the talk. We've taken care of the responses. Now let's jump right into. Uh, let's do the, the recap. News. Initiative. Uh, into initiative. <laughs> you guys ready to be stressed out again? Um, so in the midst of arguing over whose ideals were correct, the team was ambushed by Black Veil operatives. What ensued was a back-and-forth battle in which Kexi and Kaoken were paralyzed by spells, manacled, and then led away. Uh, luckily, the quick thinking of the rest of the group, Sans Zenku, the party was able to fend off the initial push. Uh, throughout the battle, some information was gained, namely that the Arcane Eye had assaulted the town of Hearthenvale, decimating it in the wake of the battle. Um, the party finished off the hapless initiates, and instead of rushing headlong into battle, they decided they might be better off resting up before, or resting up for a spell. Um, first thing we're going to do is, everybody does the things of setting up for a long rest. You guys get your, um, your other spot because you didn't want to stay where you're at. Um, I believe it was Connor and Kexi decided that they wanted to go and find some um, wood for a fire. K.O. Ken was like, ooh, I'm going to tell a story or something like that. Uh, no, K.O. Ken was helping Zixi investigate. You guys have all of the items that you investigated and found. And then, um, Zenku, who had previously been stricken with a horrible bout of dysentery um, during your guys' battle, uh, comes out sweating and hyperventilating and looks to the rest of you and says, All right, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. <coughs> uh and you're, you see you're him, evil, we we get it. Well oh. yes, but you're also no. So uh, you see him point this little plastic uh looks like a firearm into the air and shoot it, and a red flare shoots up into the sky. Um he throws his pack over and goes, look, I'm a professional, but we all got out of a pretty bad jam back there, and I owe you guys a lot. Uh, for the last couple of months, I've been on a job. I'm Are you about to get skyhooked? I am a member of the Four Talons Mercenary Group. Got a contract to sit in the town and be the eyes and ears for some folks. Um, that job includes what we just did in that cave. So my job is up, and I want to go home. Um, if you get to Kauran, look me up. If I'm gone from there, then go to the astral plane, and I'll probably be there. Um, not gonna tell you guys who my holder was, just ahead of time, so don't bother asking, but you guys may want to change up or lay low for a little while if you travel to the east. Um, someone knows more about you guys than you may want. Adios, Black Bart. He throws the thing over the, the pack over and he starts to head out of the forest um as he's pulling his pack up can i approach him you um, can walk up to him sure well it was nice to meet you and fight alongside you take care as i give him the forearm yep. grab brother he does that and you see the the little like semi-translucent aura of his stand come out and does it they, pep, 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 like all of the hits? And he, well, you feel like this odd fucking crunch as this thing fucking clicks on. He's like, Well, we fought alongside each other. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> You guys are definitely um, interesting. It's been real. Um, watch your guys' backs out there. He 
turns and you just tick, 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 tick. he starts heading to the east. So to the west. Yeah, to the west. West. Well, yep. well, we should probably like maybe get away from where the flare went off because uh, you know trajectories and what's a flare? Um, I need Kyle and uh Kao Ken to give me a wisdom saving throws. Flashbang. Come on, old timer. That yeah, it's 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 just fireworks. Sick. Um, Kaoken, you look up at the direction of the flare, and you see just off of the the streak of cloud, you see this little white orb, steadily floating. Probably, oh, I don't know, about fifteen feet ahead, like above you. You notice it, and it's it's just hanging out there. Yeah, I don't like. Did you see that? Um, I think we should like get undercover or something. As you point that you out, said, you said it. You said it was uh, the. We saw the firework, and then there's an orb off to the side of it. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, okay. like he okay. shoots it up, and then, like, right next to where that where the flare shot up into the air, it's still it stays about 15 feet um, mm. in the air, but just off of the streak of smoke. And yeah, I when, definitely point it out to well, if when you when you point that out, see or Dave's um, anybody that hears that can look up, and when you point it out, everybody sees. It. I want to get a stick like a chimpanzee and <laughs> <laughs> like the like the drone chimp. Um, let's see. I believe it would be Zixi or Connor or Deus that could make me either an Arcana or a Religion check. Yeah. What's um, your uh, Religion or Arcana at? I mean, all three of you guys can make it. It's oh, not okay. not one of you guys. Oh, yeah, all three of you guys. Damn. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, Whoa. he got a fucking 20. Oh, no. Wow. All three of you guys. Night. We gotta crit. So, so, um... Way to waste it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. Seriously. Seriously. I was just job. joking. So, Deus, um, and Connor, you guys... Well, actually, Deus, you, you know this from certain, like, priests that are part of your order, or, well, they're kind of like battle priests, right? Um... They have yeah. abilities that are granted to them to uh, be able to what they call farsight, um, which allows them to see people or places that they know of or are familiar with um, off over great distances. Um, and it's usually in the form of these white orbs that allow them to see a specific area surrounding one specific person. Um, Zixi and Connor, you both know um Connor because of your dad and Zixi because of like um the security of the laboratory that you used to work at um you guys know the scry spell this white orb is the scry spell um you guys have both witnessed it a bunch of times throughout your guys life um you know that this is used to watch people or places or objects that are familiar to the caster do do we know if uh this can be avoided like just by like oh let's you like put a blanket over our head um all three of you would know generally speaking there is one target and then um it follows that target um the wisdom save to see it versus to um to there's there's a there's usually a save like i don't know what it would be like um in game world terms there's usually a save to suppress the attachment of the spell so the the spell finds the person attaches to them and basically a th like a third person camera over the over the person um it's usually a save to block that from happening um and then to perceive it is usually a uh, a perception check but gets kind of noodly because you're basically going up against someone else's spell casting abilities um so it stays on you as long as whatever, but you are aware of it. It stays on somebody here, um, as Ko Ken pointed out. But you guys are all relatively in the same area, so you might be able to deduce that it can see just about everybody. I say we all move in separate directions. See which one of us it follows. 
Yeah, you want to scatter? Okay, I'll run off. Not too far away, but <laughs> yeah, 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 not too far away. It seems like, too uh, simple to work. <laughs> Simpler things have worked to deflect other types of magic. So I'm not feeling too bad about this one. I'm gonna start moving off and then. So you guys all start. I guess run this way. <laughs> you guys all start running off in different directions, just trying to like split up a little bit. Um, it yeah. begins I think to. We're trying to see who it follows. It yeah, begins yeah. to follow you, Deus. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's follow the that guy. Hey, I look, it's going over there. Um, can we destroy it? Is there a way to destroy this crying spell or no? Just about magic. <laughs> I mean, no. You see something that you could potentially attack, or if you have a dispel magic, or I something. I'm not that high level. Um, can I uh, cast minor illusion like on my face, just on the square of my face, to make it disappear to see if it's still gonna follow me? I don't know. I mean, you certainly can try. Yeah, he's gonna do that. <laughs> and it stays there. How high above is it? About 15 feet. Yeah, can I just start shooting spells at it? Yeah, can go I ahead. A hand I'm, gonna, it? I'm gonna shoot a lunar explosion at it. A lunar explosion? Yeah, con save 15. Is that your channel divinity? No, it's a uh, cantrip. Lunar explosion, what is it? Lunar explosion! Blow! Uh, frost, I think. Uh, I forgot what it was originally called. It's, it's, it's not frost even the cantrip. Yeah. Um, it's what frost? Ray of I frost? I, the cantrip. Uh, I think it's frost something. Frost and ice knife. Don't touch. Don't. It's ice. ray of frost, right? Ray of frost. If that is a cantrip, then yes. Well, why don't you I mean, what, it's it on up. your character sheet. Yeah. I, I don't see what it he, was originally. He renamed it? Oh, okay, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. What does the verbiage say? Shh. You cause numbing frost to form one creature you can see. With Ray of frost. Ray of frost. Okay. Ray of frost, okay, so, so yeah. Add that in just in case. But, but, um, so, so you, you cast your, you cast your lunar explosion at it, um, make a ranged spell attack? That's, oh, well, it's an, it's an attack. I, I guess I didn't think about the rest. Wait, what? What's yeah. happening? I don't understand. Yeah, what I do you don't mean? Either. He's casting Make a spell. ranged attack. But what? Is the... It's my ranged attack. Yeah. Oh, it's not... It's not a range attack. It's oh, a, the, no, 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 no. The, the target, it makes a save, is what you're saying. Oh. Yeah. We should just gotcha. Gotcha. And then that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Happening. I got you. I got you. Um, Oh, oh, I did. I said con 15. The very beginning. So, yeah, it just, uh, and then shatters as it can't make a, it doesn't have stats, but it would, would say it automatically failed that. And, and you just see, like, little bits of, like, ice, ice dust fall to the ground. And it is gone. <laughs> so. Uh, I just, everyone, like, I don't see anyone now. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm just, it was great. I'm just gonna Make raise my arm in the orbs. And... Good job, Deus. This is yeah. our no, this is our chance, everybody. Fucking run. I'm hey, just I'm, losing. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm really tired and I really am hungry. So could we yeah, go? Sleep? If you want to make that food, uh let's get that fire started. I could cook. Yeah. Uh, you know who? Um, anyone? I can cook. <laughs> maybe, maybe I, I forgot can, all I about can, that. Cook. Come on, you know, guys. You know, I, let me just help. Can I help? Help and just you help me. You want to <laughs> help me help you? Yeah, yeah. I want to just show you a little something because you know. Maybe I can show you something. Well, you know, when you, you know, what's really important is to not leave the you know the food on the fire and then I... forget about it. That's one advice. Maybe before we even do it. I know what's happening here. Okay, I, I get what you're saying. Wait, I'm gonna ex I'm gonna explain this again. Julie, supposed to be wet. I am going to explain this again. It was not my fault. 
I asked Zenku to just watch the pot for me for just a moment while I went and did something, and then I come back and it's fucking scorched. You know what? He, oh, he, yeah. No, he blame said, the guy who's not here. Yeah. He said you would say that. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you all someday. You'll see. You'll see. As they're complaining about it, what role do I need to make to go start gathering supplies for a fire? Oh, you guys already gathered it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Actually, we... um, all three of you guys get inspiration. Are, oh, nice. Um, are we going to? Are, are we going to just like sleep here with the burning bodies that are blue? No, blue no, no. Rays. You guys, you guys moved away. You no, guys no, moved no. away. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, if I remember correctly, you were very uncomfortable with the idea of sleeping anywhere near those bodies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's let's cook. Or wow, is it you? It, is the light starting to come up at this point, or is it still like dark? No, no. It's um. So when you guys ended the fight, it was pre-dawn, right? So the, the sky was beginning to turn that gray that it does before the sun actually crests over the horizon. Um, at this point, it's just getting slowly and slowly going from gray to that kind of light blue. Yeah. Um, Maybe we should just eat really quick and then start moving in the morning. As I, I'll, I'll just lean down and clump up some dirt and look for a little sprig of mistletoe and put it inside and you, 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 and the dirt turns into ten big plump gushy berries yeah so as as you hold this as you hold this dirt with this little leaf inside the leaf begins to grow a stalk out of it and then out of those yeah that's even better and so it looks like you got a little potted plant in your hands yeah and in your stone it. hands uh take two take two Ooh, thank take you two. so everyone would have two good berries um they would feed you up for an, an entire day how long um, they, do they last for like 24 without... hours from now so let's say it's 5 a.m or 4 a.m timekeeper yeah i'm gonna say because <laughs> that's about what time it gets started to get blue or oh yeah what what season are we in that's a good question somewhere between spring and summer okay so it gets bright earlier so yes. um probably like three three a.m I don't know. Sure. Three or four. Three or four. Like, there's, there's really no, like, I, I wouldn't get hung up on, like, the exact hour and down to the minute because there's not really, like, clocks. <laughs> like, there might be clocks, but, like, you haven't seen one in, like, over 100 years. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone would have two. Is that um, something we can put in our inventory? I just yeah, tried to look and I didn't see one. Yeah, no, no, no. A good berry is a spell. You could make a note, like, or a custom item. Just add custom item at the bottom of you, the manage inventory list that, um, like, you could just put one good berry or something like that if you wanted okay. to. And I'm also, one immediately. Also, um, just throwing this out there, we do have someone whose job it is to manage food and water resources. That guy might know. Or might be able to keep track of how many people have how many good berries. So uh, I think everybody has one after they eat the one this time. Which, the full nourishment means that you get a, a, a full day's worth of water and food. Not just one or the other. Yeah, it just kind of sits in your belly and keeps growing and then you dissolve it. It's amazing. Whoa. Yeah, as you, guys, as you guys all like ingest the red pill, you feel... Um, you oh, feel like, yeah. <laughs> everybody looks to the right and there's a mirror and you touch it and then it, uh, we're losing him. Um, but, uh, you, you all would feel like this warmth in your belly that kind of like, as it spreads, it's almost like the first shot of liquor, right? Like it burns a little bit and then it just feels like nice and cooling or not like nice and warming. You're like, ah, okay. I'm not hungry anymore. Ah, did you, did you put cayenne in this? Mm, no, no, no. MSG. I put literally, I put nothing except for nothing. <laughs> Everybody just, gets that same dysentery that Zenku had. Oh god. Yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, you cast the good berry. You do the good berry thing before the rest, so that doesn't use up a spell slot. Does anybody else have anything that they wanted to do before we do the long rest deal? 
I just sort of look at the berries in my hand and go, thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, well, you know what? You can my, put them in my bag of holding. There you go. Uh, I, I forgot you you don't eat. But hey, if anyone goes down, you can shove one in their mouth and, you know, just, true. you know, that's very, very true. That'll heal them. Heals them for one hit point. Yes. So, um, let's do a quick who's setting up a watch. We've got two watches. We'll do this in. So, who wants to do? I mean, obviously, Zixies is going to be in sentry mode. So, I. First watch. Or I can. I don't care. Yeah. All right. Rollies. You guys want to do rollies or who's doing what? I'll, I'll do the first one. I okay, so now we've got three people well. who want to do the first one with Zixies. I'll do the last one. Okay, so now we have two people who want to do the first one and one person who's doing the second one. That's great. So Kyle, or uh, uh, Deus and Zixies on second watch. Who's on first? <laughs> uh, Kaoken? I mean, if Connor's wanting to do it, I'll just sleep all night. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. As long as I get full, as long as I get a long rest from it, still. I'll take a shift. I'll take first shift with you, or if, if are we having two people per shift, or what, or just does it matter? Well, we've already got Zixies. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I'm yeah, I'm just gonna sleep then. You guys, what do you have? <laughs> All right, cool. So Zixies and Connor, and then Zixies and Dave's. Excelente. So. Everybody battens down the hatches. You guys all get yourselves all nice and secured and snuggly buggly over your uh, your your tent stuffs that you guys have made, your bed rolls, your fire, and there's a couple of just like um, chopped stumps that are you guys have used as like seats or whatever. Zixie and Deus, which one of you guys wants to give me the roll for potentials? It's just a straight D20. Um, I shall do this. All right, roll me two d sixes on an eleven or a twelve. It's not good for you. Dexterity saving throw. I'm kidding. Um, yeah. Okay. So first watch is going through. Do you guys want to say anything or do anything? <clears throat> you guys did have that little bit of spot where um, you know, you had a Mexican standoff and and Zixi uh. Heated up Deus's armor. Um, you guys are just kind of awkwardly sitting in silence, or yeah, I I, th I think at this point it'd just be awkward silence of like Connor poking the fire to keep it alive and just occasionally glancing over at Zixies. Like I'm just kind of flashing my wait. My I'm sorry, Kyle. I think I, I I think I I think I called on you too early for the role. I think it should have been Josh or. It should have been uh, Connor or Zixi because you're doing second watch, and I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I was like, um, I have to do with any of this? <laughs> Josh or, or sorry, uh, Connor or Zixi, one of you guys roll me 2d6. And then we'll just use that nine that, that Deus rolled got for. You got it? Okay. Oh my well, God. Nice. All right. Perfect. So please, now nice. continue. Yeah, I already said my piece. You guys are just awkwardly shoveling yeah, around them, Bruce and shit. Silence. Like, Connor at this <laughs> point is exasperated exasperatedly like tired like he has no there's there's no magic points there he's like as soon as this is done whatever i'm going straight to fucking bed ain't no one waking me up okay nice that he's still irritated so i'm just like yeah reading the the tension i'm also just not gonna say anything and after i get my bed roll i'll laid out and like in a spot where there's like a little bit of bush cover mm -hmm. um and take out. <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't look at me stones and dirt stones and germs um <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> that's how you can not nut kids um but uh could i take out the little uh or i guess the fairly big size bottle of my brewer supplies with that black inky stuff in it and like oh yeah kind of tap my finger on it yeah, so you've got this, it's like a clay jug with a stopper on it, or like a top, right? Something like that? Are you gonna... Yeah, it, I, think it's, I think it says glass, but that sounds like it's pretty fucking valuable if it's clear glass. That doesn't make any sense to me, so clay is totally fine. If it says glass, then it's glass, my guy. I mean, I'd okay, much rather... Yeah, that's... It does say glass. So it's you've got a, this um... little fish tank full of black, inky substance, and you're gonna... And 
boom, boom, just kind of like boom. see if it does anything. Yeah. It's when I when I scooped it up, I I was envisioning it was just like this. It it, it put out one little tiny pseudopod just and then Whoa. went back in. Um, I'm gonna like look behind me and then look back and boom, pop pop it open. Yeah. And then like <laughs> grab inside my other bag and like take one of the one of the um the claws of the face huggers. And oh yeah. Like put it inside. Oh yeah. So you you do that and you just see it just like it's just this little amorphous ooze just comes up, just swallows, starts pulling it in, and you can hear as like as the chemical reaction happens and the popping and the air that's coming off of this like it's and it 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 dissolves it really really quickly. And then a same little pseudopod comes up. Um, if you want to make me an animal handling a check. Hell yeah. Dirty Fuck 20. right off. Okay, give me two seconds here. Um, Jesus. Fuck. Oh yeah, of course it's a plus eight. I made all you guys far too strong. Actually, it attacks you. You die. Um, let's see here. Hip, 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 rip. And all right, you have begun forming a bond. You've gotten two stages into forming your bond. Um, holy shit. Uh, you can't really do anything as far as like commanding or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Just know that um, this thing is fairly happy with the, the relationship of you giving it food. Nice. Um, I'm gonna. It is can I, can, can I continue place. with it, or does anyone else want to do anything? Because I wanted to like give put it, give it a scenario. Okay, I was gonna say if you if you want like um this could be like a whole deal of you like doing stuff to do this. Like I don't want you to be able to just mash it repeatedly and get this thing's friendship all the way up. Right? I'm not. Okay. Oh, wanted, oh, gotcha. I was gonna present it a choice to kind of figure out what, it, like, put the glass or. Yeah, the glass bottle next to more of those things or oh. next to the single good berry to see if it's ah. like, oh, wants this or this. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, So you got the glass jug, right? And you're putting, you're giving it the two options. Are you going to pour it out of the jug? If it can, if it's not making any like sort of like... The way I if think I of it is what the gesture is. Maybe yeah, insight maybe. The, the the way that I think of it is is the uh, the uh, Carlo Rossi jugs where it kind of yeah. comes up and there's a spout, right? So it's inside of the the big bowl of this thing, right? And, it's and it's it surface level, so it's kind of just it, flat. It, it yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really react either way to anything yeah, gonna, inside okay, I'm, I'm of there. Pussyfoot, and I'm gonna let it out. I'm just let it bloop. And if I feel like it's happier, it's kind of hard to read. I, that's why I was like, it's really hard know. to figure out, you know, because it's yeah. like, um, it's a, it's a really, <laughs> the really weird thing you got here. Uh, it doesn't have a face. It doesn't have eyes or a mouth or anything in particular. It's just, it just looks like, like a ball of tar that can, that can, um, move around a little bit. Let me see here real quick what it you is know, prone to. You know, Peter, I'm somewhat of a monster myself. Oh as I my out. fuck. All right. So, I have... <laughs> Josh. <laughs> he's like, just a hand comes up and he's flipping me off. All right. Uh, let's see. Luckily for you, it is... <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make a... I'm going to roll a d20 and I'm going to add its wisdom to kind of sniff around a little bit in a, in a weird way. Um, hiya. This is going to look really weird on the, yeah, it's going to look really weird on the RP screen. That's okay. It's my mama's crib. At least I got a cool place I can live. And... Whatever I roll is going to be a minus two, not a plus two. Don't know why it says plus two. Oh, I know why it says plus two. All right. It's actually going to be a minus two. I just need to see the die. All right. That's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. All right. All right. It starts to go for the, um, the, the crab legs. Nice. Um, 
then I'll let it get to the one and then eat it and then put it in another direction just to like kind of lead it to like see if I okay. can like and then I'll I'll do a four in total. Sure. Just what are the see, options like, that you're giving me? Yeah. Uh that or the good berry. And if it's just going for those, then it's like all right, well, it only know. goes for those. And it yeah. I assume okay. you're gonna let it eat all four of Yes. Okay, yeah. Then then whatever whatever the of uh, the um cranial and sister crab legs that you have, uh minus yeah. four of those. And uh it it seems to go for fleshy bits, not magic y bits. That kind of makes sense. And oh, then I'll right. see if I can put one inside of the jug and then put put the jug down and see if it goes into the jug. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, goes right in, no problem, consumes a fifth. And you nice. are able to boom, stop that thing. Oh, whoa. Wow. Uh, I think we just got our next, uh, uh, you know, body disposal unit. You say out loud? Yeah. So, I, I figured I'm kind of like doing a weird thing. People could probably. Well, it's not like you not. said like behind shrubbery and shit. It's not like you were no, like, like. I'm just kind of, just for flavor. Like if it rains, I wanted to be. Oh, sort of oh, I see. I see. All right. So you're still, I'm you're still there with this secluded wherever the group is at maybe maybe don't we need a campfire where's the fire like that. Well, it, maybe you know you don't know if this thing was like forced into you know doing stuff it didn't want to do you know i know you're you don't like it you looked pretty hurt when we found you oh i'm not i'm not even mad about that <laughs> listen the creature's gonna do what the creature gonna do i'm yeah. saying uh you know, I don't know. I had useful. something, and then listen. I'm like super not here right now, so you know. Yeah, yeah. You look really. Gonna... You look super tired, man. Super tired. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Does it, wait, does it size change at all after eating? Ooh, that's a good point. Not in a noticeable <laughs> manner right now. Did it go to a? Did it go to a? We could say a gelatinous QB state, or did it just stay as like a sludge on the a symbiote? It, it looks it looks like a symbiote. It looks like a little. I mean, at this point, it like it's a it's a cup, right? It's like a, it's a barely like this jug. It just kind of like sits on the bottom. It almost looks like a layer of silt. It doesn't look like there's like a whole whole lot of this stuff. It's like yeah. you know, four ounces of tar what sitting in a yeah. All right, so uh, we get through that. You guys, Kaoken, I assume you are you staying up for the whole the whole watch or what? No, that, if that was once that happens, you're just off yeah, to bed. That was just, yeah, and then and then a couple of hours later, um, Connor, you know it's time for you and Deus to shift change while Zixie does his me. Yeah, yeah, scanning. Yeah. So, um, do you want to go tag him out? You want to RP that, yeah, or yeah, like I'll, I'll I'll walk over to uh, Deus and like a tap on the shoulder, like right there, like. Yeah, he, hey, he just, Deus. Uh, his head just kind of turns in your direction. Hmm. Uh, shifts over. Your turn. He gets up, uh, carries his equipment with him. All right. Um. Are you going to be putting on your armor for your watch or no? Yeah, like as soon as you get like kind of outside into a, uh, a kind of like a guard. Yeah, post, yeah, yeah. He just start like putting on his equipment and then like uh, trying to like fix his armor. Oh, right. Because it's some because it's corroded and whatnot. Right, and right, right. And trying to right. fix his long sword by like trying to sharpen the shards of it. Gotcha. Do you got a whetstone or anything like that or a smithing it, tool? It, it, he would just be some type of stone here. In okay. The forest. Okay. Um, so, you begin that, I'll keep the nine roll that you rolled, um, is there anything that you wanted to do with Zixie, or anything like that, as far as RP, Zixie, is there anything you wanted to do with Deus, because now you guys have, this was the encounter that happened last time, was the heat metal, and the, the, the standoff. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. As I'm trying to fix this. Media, tin man. Ooh, yeah. All right, bone saw. Hold on a sec. <laughs> uh, so as I'm like trying to fix my armor, <coughs> I look at him. 
<laughs> like there, I'm looking at him like, can you warm it? <laughs> I guess I could do that. <laughs> kind of puts it on like a, a wet stump. <clears throat> I sort of like see my hand start glowing and put my hand on oh. it. Um, wait, hold on, real quick, before we do that, before we do that, uh, I, on an out-of-game context, like a, the meta-game context, smithing is not considered a relaxable, or a relaxing activity, and the long rest, you need four hours of sleep minimum, and then, like, four hours of a non, like, uh, like a relaxing activity. I'm sorry, because oh, I, I didn't know that was long rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 in that it's in that old long rest, long rest description. But um, because yeah, well, I'm not actually trying to fix it. Can I just be fucking with my shit then? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, that's all I'm basically doing. It, okay. So you said you can't do that during a long rest. Like, like you won't gain the benefits of doing it during a long rest if you're trying to like hammer and smith and stuff like that. Like that's. That's an that's an exertion of of your energy, which is you not being like not getting rest. You know so what I mean? Could I take off, it you know? from him? What? Could I take it from him? Like since I don't. I mean, you really you can RP right asking and all that stuff. I'm not gonna say you can like slide of hand it from him or anything like that. No, no, no. But I'm saying is like, would I be able to? Because I do have smithing tools. That's up to you guys. You talk about it. So. <clears throat> so it'd be uh like see him about to do the james west let's bash it with a rock yeah so that's basically what what he's doing he's kind of hitting him with a rock right now yeah you're like like i said and then you... i i hold it up and look at you and say uh can you fix this because he's seen you he's metal I will in good faith. We need to learn to help each other. And like I take it and step away a little bit. I miss I, I miss voice mod Zixi, but that's just me. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> I need to set that up again. Um yeah. and I take it away. Well Dan was complaining about it. Don't blame me. Um Fucking dirty Dan. You, as he's not there. And I walk away and I uh like sort of like hunker down i don't know if if Deus could see this um oh yeah but, but yeah. i would start turning my tools that were thieves tools into smithing tools right would start forming them and then start working on his uh sword on the sword or his armor he handed me his sword all right and you're sword. So you gonna you gonna start wanting to smith that shit and fucking start trying to trying to like repair it basically? Yeah, I moved away a little bit further from like the group so that way I'm like trying not to. Right, 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 right. Them, But it is what it is, man. <laughs> okay, so um, so you've got proficiency, right, with smithing tools. You have smithing tools now that you've used your right tool for the job uh, ability, yes. which means go ahead and roll me. Uh, hiya. Roll me a check that I will determine here in like uh, just a half a second. Um, oh my god, because I want to say it's a sleight of hand, but that doesn't oh sound my right. God. Um, let's see. Smithing. Oh my god. Are you listening to that right now? I'm singing. Oh, okay. It. You're okay. all listening to it because of me. Beats. <laughs> Waiting to attack. <laughs> no. All right. Um. Well, I don't want to take any more time trying to look up. Um. They gave they give a, a recommendation for smithing tools for I think repairing. Um. But we'll just say roll me a dex check with advantage and then add your proficiency at the end. Dexterity check. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, roll me again just to see if you get that 24. Okay, so, um, yeah, you, you kind of roll out, you're like, alright, well, I hope this doesn't fucking clang, 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 clang. Luckily, you went away, so it's not, like, directly into somebody's fucking head meets. Um, but, 
I'm not gonna say that like it interrupts your guys' rest, but you guys are kind of here a little bit. Um, you will work on this for the remainder of the watch okay. in order to be able to repair this. But when you are done with this, you will have repaired his sword. Okay. So um, you're out there, you're heating, you're using heat metal, um, which go ahead and mark off the spell slot for that. Because that plus using your tools means that you're able to heat this up and reform the blade edge and then resharpen it with your smithing tools, your whetstone, and so on and so forth. Um, and you're able to do that. And then at the end of this, everybody can go ahead and give themselves a long rest. So all of your spell slots, all of your this, all of your that, everything goes. You guys should be back to, all right, good. Now roll initiative. No, I'm kidding. Nah. <laughs> Um, but no, you guys are, you guys are all, all in there like swimwear. Sick. So, quick question, did, yes. so, uh, hey, so Will you use... please mute that mic? <laughs> no, you're good. I unmuted it to Jeez. go woo, and then I forgot. Jesus, <laughs> CJ, calm down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're still muted. Two number um, nine. Like, like um, last time with his fucking, no, it's a different CJ. <laughs> Uh, no, I kind of figured, but still. So, Dave, this entire time, were you fighting with a broken weapon? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay. So, will that give him any stat benefits? It'll re it'll bring it back to a normal. <laughs> it it back, yeah. Yeah, because he had like a what a minus two or whatever. No, you got me high up there because I kept hitting that thing. Oh yeah, yeah, minus three or four, some shit like that. It it was. Oh, hang on, I hit the wrong thing. It was really bad. It was really really bad. Um, right in the camera, beetle deedle doodle deedle do. All right, so, um, second and or second watch ends. It is now like afternoon time. You guys all got the 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 fucking the sun is right about in the middle of the sky up above. You guys all are like bleary eyed coming to like it's the hangover part one. Um, but everybody wakes up right around the same time. One person starts moving around. Deus is like presenting his genitalia, and everybody, everybody's up. What do you guys want to do? Uh, we need to stop making our way towards that city. Yeah, the town. Towards the town. I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> do you think we're welcomed? Mm. We didn't cause the destruction. Do they know that? <laughs> well, we're more prepared than we were before, so yeah. I think we should. All right. Well then. Go. In that in that case, who is leading the charge? I believe that we've really got a druid for that. I I have a pretty good idea which direction you guys want to follow me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. At, at this point, the smoke that used to be in the air is now kind of not really, but there is this kind of like, not really a fog. It's like a haze that's just sort of sitting in the sky a little bit. It's not, it had nothing to do with weather. It would still smell to you guys from this point. You would smell burnt wood substance. But as you look up, it just looks like there's kind of a haze. Like there's just like something's just sitting in the air. You know what I mean? There's no there's no real like wind that's pushing anything any sort of one direction or anything like that. But before you guys saw like a plume of black smoke in the air. But enough time has yeah. passed to where you could probably deduce that it has significantly I died down. It out. I have where deduced they might have put out the fires by now. That or Oh don't step there. That's a that's poop. Oh, Connor. All right, so, K.O. Ken, uh, go ahead and, um, ooh, um, That's I'm gonna, name, I'm gonna need you to make me a survival check to track your way back. Uh, go ahead and use advantage because you are familiar with these areas. I yeah ooh, thank god one, and then a damn still bad right so now go ahead and roll me 2d6 
Okay. <clears throat> Nat one and a four. Why did that not Ooh. pop up on the game log? Oh, sorry. I, I did it on roll 20. You dirty motherfucker. <laughs> I could advantage it for you. <laughs> what? You can what? roll it on D20 or D&D &D Beyond, but... Only reason is because on the overlay, um, on the overlay, they, uh, it's it's on it's on the D twenty game log. That way, it actually shows up on the thing. For the do thing. you want me to do it on? Yes, please. Okay. Look at that. It's like advantage or disadvantage, yeah, depending on what you're rolling for. All right. Super advantage. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah, that's great. So a seven as you guys are rolling. Uh, I need. Let's see. Who would be able to perceive this? Keke C and Zika C. And K.O. Keen. You guys, all three, make me perception checks. Perception. Perceptiones. Damn it. Fuck. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, get all those rolls out now. Mm. There you go. <laughs> Shut the actual fuck up. Okay, so. Um, you guys are rolling. K.O. Ken's in the... In, like, he's, he's doing his deal. And, um... Like... He's leading you guys through the safest possible, most direct path forward. You guys start traveling for about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, and Kexi sees out of the right side of her face, like her peripheral, just sees this gray blur. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck was that? Did anyone else see that? Um, that's poison ivy, and uh, that's no, 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 uh, no. No, no, there was a, a gray blur that shot in what direction? Uh, it was, it would have been um, going the direction you guys are coming from. <clears throat> going, so it's heading, it's heading, it's heading, it's heading yeah, yeah, it didn't, it didn't like cross directly in front of you. It was like off roughly about 30, 40 feet to the right, zooming through the trees back. And it was just a blur that looked oddly humanoid and like a running figure. Trust that. Uh, make sure you guys are. You guys see another one. At this point now, um, everybody would see these gray blurs as they 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 legitimately look like people like super speed running past. Like think of the flash, right? You see like these trails kick up. Um, and I'm running myself with my shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh. I assume, K.O. Ken, you're taking point. Yeah. Do you uh, want to roll me a dexterity save or a strength save? Uh, probably a strength save. All right, go ahead and roll me a strength saving throw. And, Kexi, I'm going to need you... Dirty 20. I'm going to need you, Kexi, to uh, roll me an attack roll with your shield warrior, please. As you just said, you're readying your shield. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see what happy owns. Maybe I'll finally be able to use it. Okay. Uh, so you want me to roll? An Just an, an attack, attack roll, yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> never gonna work. Ooh. <laughs> A part of me wants to use my inspiration. I mean, you can. Uh, no, I'll wait. Are you sure? Shut up. Okay, if you're certain. Um, I'm gonna... Are you really sure about that? Fucker. I, I, mm, I, mm, yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm okay. Gonna do it. I'm gonna... Okay, burning it. Uh, uh, wish me luck, boys. Should I hard roll this? Do you have a way to hard roll it? it yeah, hard you can, you can totally it. fucking okay. roll a regular dice. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Fucking die. <laughs> so you got a plus five. You mm. can do this. Yeah, what dice should I use? A good one. I'm gonna use... Use the good ones! <laughs> use the good one. Gold sandstone dice. Oh, good, the ones that she couldn't see for two whole years. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, you hear here me? we go. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. <gasps> what is it? Oh, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. I rolled a three. Damn it. Uh, no, no, that's, that's, that's fine. Um, all right, so, here's how this works. So, 
uh ko ken you are like oh shit what's happening and you get like your um you get you get this like oh something's coming kind of like danger sense but not enough to really qualify for that that whole like dexterity blah blah, blah right as you you feel like your your battle prowess kind of kicks up and you fucking just lean in with a shoulder like you know how like uh you know something's coming right right boom as you do that it just fucking knocks off of you and spins and kexi is like right kind of staggered just to the side and this thing rolls off her. she fucking ping goes to hit it off uh, off of her she's not enough to do a whole lot of fucking damage or anything like that but what you do see for a, a split second is you see this thing i hate it um Gross. it uh as it and zooms past you guys and it's gone so all all in all you guys saw about nine of these things and then one of them was just coming down the middle and you boom blah and it it runs past the direction that you guys were going have I heard or seen any like any far realm tale of something that can move that fast? That is, that it's a large creature, correct? It is. Yes, it is bigger than you. Um. Ooh. Yeah, I, I look to the group. I'm like, what the? Fuck? You can make me an Arcana or a animal handling check. Can I do the same? Um. Let's see. Who would have seen anything other than that? The only person that would have seen anything kind of like that would have been Deus as well. Am I able to? Mm. Since Zari's right next to it. Maybe, but you'd you'd be with disadvantage because you've lived your entire life in the Feywild, and these things aren't exactly that. Okay. What do you want me to do then? What? what? Either Arcana or Animal Handling. It's up to you. Oh fuck. They're both bad. So let's just see. <laughs> oh my gosh okay that was a 14 on one what was that there it is okay so um Kaoken is the only person who knows what this is somehow that's really weird um so Kaoken this is what you would call do me if you just, sorry, just twist that just a little. There you go. Oh, it doesn't have to be. Sorry, yeah. See how it doesn't pick me up now. It was, I... You want, you want to pick me up? You want to pick me up? Uh, so, um, this is what you call a gray render. That is the term that you would know it as. Um, they don't move that fast ever, but these things are typically, uh, basically like you could consider them like the equivalent to an owl bear. Except okay. disgusting. They're fast. They're fucking deadly. They, um, they're usually used as siege monsters. Meaning that they do a lot of damage to things that are inanimate objects. They just rip through stuff and they bite. And they're basically like... Um, give me a perception check. K.O. Ken. Okay. Yeah. 21. Okay, don't even have to fight that one. <laughs> They're nice. Are you willing to burn one of your wild shapes right now? Yeah. As you think for that split second that you are able to get the form of one of these things oh. in some manuf like way, burn yes. one of your wild shapes, and go ahead and roll me a d100. Yes, on D and D Beyond. Yes, please. Hey, roll to everyone. Ooh, exciting. Fifty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just right in the dead fucking center. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um. I just need fifty more points, and I get done. No, it. you're good. You're good. <laughs> um. You turn into as you. You're like. Mm-hmm. 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 I got it. I got it. The six eyes, the, the big clawed hands, the fucking the, the linebacker shape. You're already pretty close to that. You're gray, you're big, you're already fucking corded, and you guys all see him begin to his head kind of crushes and so it's it's actually kind of painful for KO Ken because mm -hmm. with most of the things, like usually you just see with Druids, they anamorph and they turn into something else. Done. 
this for Kao Ken, whenever he's done this, has become like a like a popping and like almost like what you would imagine like a werewolf transformation where his body flesh warps into something else. And you are able to successfully transform into something like this. It is smaller, but it has the same look. And I have a, a separate character sheet for, for this, but there's okay, something cool. special to this that we'll go over later. So, um, would you guys like to continue or would you rather go back and find out what they were doing? Let's move forward. Yeah. Right, listen, I don't speak whatever the yeah. fuck you want. No, no. So, uh, as, soon, yeah. as soon as I hear that come out of uh, Kaoken's mouth, I'm oh. I like instinctually just put my my shield up. Like Jesus Christ! Yeah. Sorry, I threw that up there just one more time to keep it up there, so that way you guys have a good visual representation in in roll twenty as to what this piece of shit looks like. Um, well, they didn't attack us, so I don't know. I don't really know anything about them, but. They don't look friendly, um, but yeah, I, we I, need to go. Yeah, you guys need, to, need go. to go. Yeah, let's go. It's time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen, talk English and get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> I got a minute for the next hour. Right. Nice, nice. So it is actually going to take the rest of that hour for you to get for you to get to um, the town. Now you guys approach the you guys approach the tree line where it ends. If you remember correctly, for about a mile away from the town, in a, almost like a circle around, any trees have been cut down flat. So you guys approach the ends of the tree line, and I am going to give you guys an opportunity to do something, uh, uh, unless you want to just go straight to it. Because right now you're from the southeast, you can either. You, you can do whatever you want from this point, but I just assume you guys don't want to just go rushing in directly from southeast. Yeah, no, no, no. It'd be like hiding at the tree line. I, I wanted to see if I could, uh, since I worked at the lumber mill, and sometimes, like, they climb trees to cut trees down, if you would uh, allow me to, like, climb up a tree with the help of, like, my hand axes, like, ugh! Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> and maybe see if I can get a better advantage of the town. Yeah, hundred percent. Go ahead and go ahead and give me give me athletics with advantage. Ooh. Because yeah, your your previous job of of likely oh, gaffing God, with advantage. advantage. That's not that bad. Was, I rolled a one. No, you rolled a eight. seven for a total oh. of fifteen. Are you sure? Yeah. That's what, oh, it, that's like what it says. You do it again. Oh yeah, do the math again. doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> one plus eight equals fifteen, of course. What did I just roll? Uh, athletic. Athletic. Yep. Okay. Hey, look at that. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. You're able to. You. You see a big ass fucking like pine tree or something. You, you get up there. And, I can just use my mirth, mirthful leap to kind of get me. Either way, doesn't. You know. You get up there. You can even jump higher. Fuck it. You're sixty feet up in the air now. You're standing on the very tippy top of a tree. Dexterity save. No, um, no. So you, so you, you get about you know twenty, thirty feet up, and you can see, like, I mean, you got full, fucking ninety degree view of this corner of your of the of the woad. What do I see? Roll me that perception. Anybody downstairs while she's rolling that? Uh, Kaoken, okay, okay, what are you doing? Um, I'm just waiting. So the the flat trees are normal, correct? This isn't anything new. They they like lumbered out. Yeah, yeah, yeah they lumbered out. Okay, You're okay, like there's right. no stumps here that are higher than like 2 feet off the ground. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm like I'm just waiting for word. Okay. She's Connor? Yeah. What are you doing? Are you in a holding pattern as well? I am going to try and take cover behind one of the fully standing trees if I can. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Zixie, what are you doing while she's uh, climbing and looking? I would do the same thing. Take cover behind trees or climb and look? Mm, um, I would stay down. All right. You're going to take some cover. Uh, Deus, what are you doing? <clears throat> so he, he's been on guard this whole point. Right. <clears throat> but um, as right now, everyone's kind of planning out around this tree. Mm -hmm. uh, we're at the town. I mean... Uh, he maybe go through uh, his things, look, see if he had uh, anything else to wear. Okay, so you're gonna try to like cloak yourself so you're not like so obvious with but your. And he's he's gonna say like you know like we at least need supplies. 
Right. I see what you're saying. He's planning for entry. Yes. Yeah. Um, because you guys do look like a motley crew of colors and and <laughs> like and I have the most strong. the most Sesame Street looking people. <laughs> yeah, all right. I, that makes sense. Sure. Um, so uh, you got a natural 20 twan of a total twan twan two, right? If I'm yep, not mistaken. Yep, yep, yep. yep Dope. Yep, yep. So um, uh, you climb to the top and you're looking. Here's what you see. Um, you see the normal thing of the southern wall as it stretches around um, the south side of this, of this uh, town. You see the little gates where the deltas run off because, as you all remember, the um the trees or the the river splits so um i assume you're going to be describing what you see yeah yeah well i'm gonna at least you know absorb Perfect. the information and then when i climb back down I'll, i'm not i don't want to be yelling down to everybody right so i'll tell them when i when i right descend ascend okay well descend. then this is what you guys are all used to seeing Hearth and Vale look like. Um, let me drag it over. Yeah. This is what you all are used to Hearth and Vale looking like. A rough outline. None of this is to scale. This is just kind of like, um, you know, like a, like a diagrammatical map of what this looks like, right? Mm -hmm. There's a river split. Here's like the spots where everybody yada, yada, yada. What you see, what Kexi sees and what she describes to everybody... It's closer to this. Oh. Um, multiple, many houses burnt down. Uh, there's still, there is still, uh, like in the immediate area, there are still like spots where flames are are lapping up the rest of the houses. Um, the eastern side of the gate, which I forgot to um, show, has been completely destroyed and caved in. Um, okay. And uh, this is this is it. This is what you guys. She describes the, the entirety of the town from what she can see, which of course is like a, almost a mile away, but she does have a vantage point to be able to see over the over the walls, because the walls are only like 15 feet tall or whatever, right? Um, she's able to see just destruction. There's a few spots that look like they're still good. Um, from her vantage point, she can't see any people. Um, but as she's describing all of this, describing the landscape and everything, what she would begin to see is just a couple of every once in a while a little light 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 a streak of blue and then you would just hear you guys would hear seconds after that almost like the sounds of battle are happening within the city we gotta go now yeah let's let's go uh, dash and dash. All right, so you guys are gonna head straight at it from the direction where you're at. Yeah. All right. So what'll happen is you guys will, huh? Josh is. Oh, are you, are you good, Josh? Are you? My two thirds. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, as I say, you didn't look. You're okay. Um. You want to take a break and take care of it real quick or something? Or I don't know if you can or no, not. It's, 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 it's going to hurt for the whole night. So let's just keep going. Okay, gotcha. So um, there is a southeastern gate. You guys will have to follow the river that that uh, comes off of there. And there is one gate that kind of bip, right? So that was that's what you would call the southern gate. So as you all are just making a dead sprint straight for that, um, you guys, it, it you clear a mile and what like 10 15 minutes because <laughs> you guys are like yeah yeah it's a it's a big run um I need, who are we gonna, who are I need, we, yeah i need oh god yeah. my head, uh, i drink too much uh hey what if we get there who's the bad guys <laughs> like i don't know do we go for the black robe guns or we go for the other ones i don't know <laughs> anyone who attacks us anyone who hurts us yeah who, Who's who's got the fastest movement speed? I'm at thirty. Everybody's at thirty. I think Kexi's at thirty-five. So Kexi's the first person in the door, right? Yep. Can we do another perception? I don't no. Know. What I want you to do is, I would like for Kexi to roll me a d20. Shield bash, shield warrior. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, miss! I'm glad you made a bonk. <laughs> 
I did it, guys. guys. <laughs> oh, okay, you know, this is this is okay. gonna be interesting. Um, so let's see. <laughs> I didn't expect this one to come up, but here we go. As you all crest through this gate, the gate is like I mean, it's about like 10 feet wide by it's it it uh, spans all the way to the top, so about 15 feet tall, and then there's like a big um, what's that called? A header across the top where the where the these big swinging, like, all of these are made out of, like, uh, tree trunks, right? So the, this gate, somehow, like, uh, the architecture of it is is just more tree trunks. It almost looks like fucking Jurassic Park. Anyways, so, these gates are open. Um, as you guys come running through, Kexi points out there is a street, and more or less, it would be right in this area here, Right? Um, where you would see, just as the road tends to curve off to the right to go towards East Hearthenvale, um, again, just right there, just so you're all aware, making sure everybody gets there. So, um, as you see, you would see these two ruined houses, right? Um, they're, they're not full houses, um, they are, they look more like, uh, Remember the Capital Wasteland right when you get out of the vault? How, like, it's like the first level of, of house is, like, only halfway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Cracker Jack boxes. They, yeah, they look like that. And it's all smoldered wood everywhere. But what you'd see is, up, you'd see Margaret Crawford come up with a wand in her hand and blast a blue, a blue streak of crackling energy across. And you would see, ducking down is this older gentleman, um with uh, uh, a horseshoe of hair around got this big hook nose and this like this little like scruffy beard he's all covered in what looks like a sooty mess and you see him duck and it hits and he comes back up and you see him just like lob this goo of like poison that comes over and splashes on the wall and they both look to you they both look to you all as a group and you see them each instantly spotlight out they both cover, like, uh, their eyes, out of their eyes come these, these white spotlights, as they boom, and you see them just boom, 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 over all of you, and they go, the enemy, get him, like, nearly at the same exact time. The old man goes, what are you doing over there? Get her! And he looks at, he's looking at you, Connor, and then Margaret's looking at you, uh, Kaoken, and being like, he's attacking the town. And then you guys are going to. I look to Connor, and I'm like, hey, "Do you know her? You know him?" As I think we all know. Do I her. know him? <clears throat> um, you can make me a history check. I, okay, okay. I don't think you would know anybody, but maybe you've seen him. I was gonna say the only person that I know is there is a goblin that was talking to my dad. I believe like a, a green skinned guy. Talk to my dad. That yeah, there was it. a That's there was a goblin named named Grimtooth that was talking to your dad. Yeah. So and even then, I'm um, not sure he's with them. Not that Kaoken would know anything about that. So <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> get out of my history, you piece of shit. Looks like someone didn't watch the prologue. So uh, <laughs> so so uh, you don't know this guy from Adam, but he just looked at you and. Did the thing you guys have seen this spell effect once before with that battle with the initiates where one of them looked spotlights came out about 60 feet out and scanned everybody and it was at yeah. that point that he was like hey yeah. you're the fucking enemy why are you helping him so these two people just did that same exact thing and then looked at two of you individuals and went get him the enemy so they don't even wait for you guys as you guys see uh, this older gentleman on the uh, across from Margaret turn and you see him just go pew, and you see this little pea of flame and just detonate into this massive fireball. It's like, you fucking bitch, how you like that? And you see her pop up and she's got soot all over her face. And she's like, why are you attacking? And she's going to channel some energy and you see this like lightning bolt cut across and he just oh fuck and he drops behind cover and they both like do this like doing the whole like across like trench warfare type we need to big 
hold him down. Let's try and get to the end of this. Can I you run hold, towards the old hold, man? Can you hold the person with magic? Okay. Yeah. So, real quick. Hands. Um, I would like for everybody, just so this way we can get this, like, uh, kind of under, under wraps a little bit. Let's all roll initiative. You guys don't have any tokens or anything like that up, but um, I just want to get an initiative roll. Maybe we can keep somebody, have somebody keep track of this so that way we can see who's nice. going to do what on these turns. It's going to be a quick initiative. We're only going to do one pass through on this, and then hopefully we'll resolve whatever <laughs> choices we have here. Damn. Balance. Oh, I kind of don't like this right now because that means I have to do something that would... Um, who am I missing here? Connor. I rolled a 17. Oh, you were the first oh, one. Oh, oh I, I see. see. Yeah, sorry. It was it was in a big box and everybody else's was short boxes. Okay, yeah. so first up <laughs> first up is K.O. Ken. <laughs> Kyle, give me that camera when you can. K.O. Ken, what are you doing, man? Um if I can get there oh, I I want to get as close as I can to Margaret and be like, look, what the fuck is happening? You can get all the way up to where her yeah, cover is if I'll, you want. Yeah, I'll get this is this is narrative. This isn't this isn't thirty feet yeah. and do an action bonus action so on and so forth. So Just you're gonna to go cover. you're gonna go run up next to Margaret. I didn't get into cover. I'm like what right. happened? All right. So let me really fast here. Hopefully, really fast. Let me get to these NPCs real quick. I'm just going to drop a little bit of picture for you guys for reference of who these people, what they look like. Um, so Margaret Crawford, original, camp I... counselor, talking yeah. person. Yeah, exactly. Um, we are going to In office the best. Yeah, sorry. Um, eh, 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 go back over. Eh, eh, yeah. All right. So this is, so this is what Margaret Crawford looks like. Yep. There's some fireworks. So this is what Margaret Crawford looks like. She's got these incredibly like radiant blue eyes. They 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 literally glow underneath her hood. But she other than that, she looks like a pretty regular human with her hood up. Um KO can give me a history check real quick. And then for the for the rest of you guys. Um yeah, so you've you've seen her once with her hood kind of back, and you know that the entire left side of her face has scar tissue that comes up. But you've never seen her without her hood on. Yeah. So you don't know the extent of it. On the other hand, oh, that was a dad reflex. On the other hand, here's Olaf. Oh. This is another man who you see. He has these incredibly exaggerated features. Um, he's got this massive nose, like these super bushy eyebrows that literally go into his horseshoe. That also literally goes into his like beard. Um, he's this tiny, like, super frail old man. He's carrying a wand himself. Um, but you see that uh, some of his spells that he casts, or that he's been casting, um, he puts his palm forward, and you see uh, a glowing sigil of an eye with seven, um, like, uh, seven, like, radiant marks coming off of it. Um, but, Kaokin, you're gonna go over, and you're going to talk to Margaret, right? Yeah. And uh, then on her response, I just want to do an insight. What was it that you asked? I asked, um, what is happening to the right. town? And then you, blah, 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 blah. she is going to tell you, um, she's like, oh my God, thank God you're here. Uh, so I've already called in to the superiors, um, about some like boring stuff that was going on and they were supposed to be here today uh and then all of a sudden i heard explosions inside of the city and i walked out of my my tent and you know the headquarters that she's talking about is literally what you're what you're standing in used to be a um like a small house it's like a shack right um and was nearly killed by a fucking fireball um and I lo I'm looking around, and I see Black Veil members and Arcane Eye members, uh, like, suddenly uh, attacking each other, just, like, all-out war, all of a sudden. Um, so, I've been running around, corralling the other townsfolk, um, and getting them calm enough to go to the ranch. Duncan's Ranch, they're all 
inside of the cattle pens over there. Um, mm, let's see. Uh, oh, and then um, this is her. She's like trying to do this like fast, right? She's like spilling all of this out. And then all yeah. of a sudden, uh, this guy across the way just starts coming. And I don't know how he's able to cast so many fucking sp uh, fireball spells. But he has been just raining them down with no regard for collateral damage. Some of the other villagers were rushing the Arcane Eye members, and they were just cut down. I mean, with extreme prejudice. Um, but the order's been put out. We just have to wait them out. And Can I inside her, yes. To see if she's like stumbling through any like details or like a uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give me an inside check. Okay. Nineteen. Nice. So next up on the initiative list, Josh's hand just goes up. <laughs> uh, ne next up on the initiative list is Connor. Which way you going, man? I'm You're sorry, muted. She, yeah, I, I felt like Connor she was muted. Pretty honest. I didn't tell you. Oh God damn it! <laughs> I am going to rush into cover with the old man. All right. And more or less do the same thing <laughs> while holding. Yes. <laughs> While preparing a hold person, I'm gonna go. I need full details now. Right, 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 right. So you, so you guys do this, this X cross over here, and yeah. Connor comes sliding in, and he goes, "Well, boy, I didn't know that we were letting initiates in here. I, I, fuck, you took long enough. I got the cavalry's coming in here pretty soon. Uh well, let's see. Where do I begin? As you see him literally just like, he just like is shooting firebolt over without even looking. Yeah, he's just... Right? He's just, he's doing the cover fire. And you just see this like, <laughs> and he's like, well, let me tell you. So there I was. Uh, I was, wait a minute. Hold on. Before I do anything else, show me your badge. I'm going to present both amulets to him. Oh. That's mighty fancy. You got one made out of gemstone there. Well, all right. Looks like we got us a rich boy. Perfect. Hopefully you still got some of Papa's magic in you. So, where was I? Huh? Oh, yeah. Hopefully you got some of Papa's magic. So, <laughs> uh, there I was doing my fucking job. Me... And my companions were doing this this caravan delivery and escort mission. We're supposed to be meeting Timothy Baker. He's uh, over on the other side. Uh, we were ambushed by Black Veil Hit Squad. Can you fucking believe that? And then after killing those guys and the guys out front, I was pretty fucking spent. Now Zinch, he's somewhere around here. I don't I don't know where he fucking ran off to, but they killed Carmichael. I know you don't understand how any of this goes and boom, blows another one out. Um, but you, you see, we gotta make sure that we keep these Black Veil sons of bitches from multiplying. They're like fucking rabbits. There's a pretty powerful Black Veil sergeant over there. It looked like one of your companions went over there to take care of him, but uh, they haven't been up. I hope they're not fucking... They've been firing back and... We've been firing back and forth the whole time. <laughs> I hope they're not boning over there. I don't have to get some of that action. Oh, <laughs> my. Uh, do you want to do an insight check? Can I ask him one more question? Yeah. Oh, man. Did you guys start the fireballs in the city? Did we start the fire? No. I mean, technically speaking, I'm the only... Were they the, first, were they the first one to cause damage to this town? Okay. I'll tell you what happened. Again, from the top. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's okay. No. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. He's gonna turn around. You see him. He's actually he's got a ring on his hand, and he just kind of. You want to see something cool? Oh, dude. he's gonna look over. Yeah. And he's gonna fucking he's gonna cast scorching ray, and so you'll see this. Sh <laughs> but they all miss. Ko Ken, you're over there talking to her, like trying to like read, and all of a sudden just boom, 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 boom. It's just, it's it's just, just artillery fire. Right yeah, yeah, literally. And he's just like. <laughs> Yeah, and and so so he just, he looks. He's like, look, Black Veil attacked my caravan. So naturally, I need to close a job. 
I got to make money somehow. I got a 23-year-old wife back at home. Did you so, we get here, and the gates were already fucking collapsed, but there was about six of these fucking black veil pieces of shit that were just, I mean, they already were decimating the whole fucking town. Now, do you want to roll an insight check? Yes. All right, give me that insight, baby. My word. Oh, actually, it's not my word. Ooh, so that one. You think this guy might be your dad? <laughs> um, is that you? So, Kexi, <laughs> Kexi, what are you? What are you doing, man? Can I give out? Oh, so Margaret is the one that sent us on the watch, right? Uh, she's not. No, no, Carter Anderson. There was this Tabaxi guy who sent you on the watch, but Margaret Anderson. Um, directed you guys to if you found any magic or if you, if you guys developed magic powers if you found any people who had magic powers to bring them back to the black veil like or to her so that way she can get them actually like in training and get them help for their right, sickness we, so kexi uh only knows margaret she is of course going to side with margaret since she doesn't know who the fuck this old man is i'm going to rush up to the old man and i'm going to does anyone know what i'm gonna do shield warrior that is right, right. okay uh, so, so. <laughs> we're gonna resolve a few things make me the attack roll real quick god, god fucking <laughs> Wait, oh my god, this is great. Okay, so hold on. Uh, we are so 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 we're not we're not done resolving that yet. Now that's my, that's my bonus. Right. So, anyways, <laughs> so you go. Oh shit, Kev can roll over there. Clearly, Connor is about to go over there and start fucking this old guy up. And you run in and you start. You do this like uh, uh, what's it, Balushari fucking. Just like a, you yeah. come sailing over the wall, getting ready to do this, and it's at that exact moment that it becomes Zixi's turn. Zixi, what are you doing, bud? You're muted. You hear me now? Hey. There he is. Okay. Just like the Verizon guy. Fucking with the voice mod thing. Oh. Um, I am in total confusion of what's going on right now because I literally see my teammates slide yeah. dodge fucking past explosions and shit going They're on. They're doing the Apex like, Legends <laughs> slide nine yeah. miles. <laughs> they, but they both jump first and they yeah. slide when they hit the ground. They high-fived each other as they <laughs> Yeah. No, so, this is great. I'm just sort of like holding back right now. All right, all right. So you, do you want to do you want to hold any kinds of actions or anything like that, or or are you just like what the fuck is going on? That's also totally fine. I mean, yeah, right okay. now it would literally just Sick. be like what the fuck. All right. <laughs> then in that I'm, case, because I'm not involved, I'm not involved in like either one of these. Parties, yeah, no, you're a you're a total I, and, third party. I just got done telling Deus like we need to protect our own, and then I fucking see them like <laughs> yeah. sliding back and forth, and I'm just like. Speaking of which, Deus, what are you doing in this confusion? So just like them, he's also confused. He has his guard up. Yeah. Um. Taking a defensive stance, you're like. Eh. Yeah. Um. He he seems terrified when uh. It looks like she's about to hit that very strong looking mage with her shield. Yeah. And he's going to be like, no. No. <laughs> no. Don't All right. As she misses. <laughs> so, we don't know if she missed yet. So, Kaoken, mm -hmm. what did you roll for your fucking insight? 19. Okay, you rolled a 19. Let's see. As she's doing this, you're reading her face, you're reading everything that she's doing, she's stumbling over. She says that she was communicating with her superiors about some boring stuff in the area, and you immediately pick up on she's lying about whatever it is that she was communicating to her superiors. You get the fact that she was hiding a lie inside of the truth. 
she's okay. been talking to her superiors, but it wasn't anything boring. Um, you know that it was true that she heard explosions from within the city and was and walked out was nearly killed by a fireball. You know that it was true just off of, the, again, you, the, the whole time you've been watching her, right? Her body language. When she said the thing about uh, seeing Black Veil and Arcane Eye members slinging spells in the streets, that's also true. Um, when she talks about helping to corral the villagers to a safe space over in Duncan's ranch, that's not necessarily false. Right. Um, it's just... Okay. It's not true to the point where she, like, she wasn't just a FEMA person directing people. You you don't get that feeling from her, but she definitely did come in handy. In a handy. Um, the rest of everything that she said, you, about as true as you can figure. <clears throat> well, I, I can't cast spells, so do you want a bone? As I pick up my rotten bone. I could, I could go get the villagers. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I like um, to imagine that he's look, asking, you want a bone as as the old man's like, they're probably fucking over there. So. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> she she kind of looks at you like, yeah, um, no thanks. I, I think I've, I think I've got this. Um, if you encounter any of the Arcane Eye members, just don't even bother. Just take them out. But make sure that the villagers are safe and I help is might, on the way. I think there might be some, you know, like splinter cells in the Black Veil because there were some that attacked us when we went out on patrol. We found this big fleshy uh, monster. There was a, there was a bad hey, guy in it. Hey, and it, uh, hey, Kaokin, Kaokin. And she kind of like leans forward. We all know. Everybody in about five miles, any Black Veil members know exactly what happened. Oh, I think there was just a miscommunication. So boom, 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 boom from the guys like attacks. She's like, no, 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 no. We know what happened. Mm -hmm. There's no lying. Don't even bother trying. I'm honestly just super confused. <laughs> so uh, make me a history check. Okay. <laughs> you don't get paid enough to know what's yeah, going right? on here. Kale, Two. Man. Fuck off. Okay. You're dumb as shit. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The first phone. encounter that you had with yeah. Black Veil Initiates in which blood was shed was Deus rushing in and murking one of those dudes in that cave. And you guys cut one down. One ran away. Then you killed six more chasing the one. You captured the one. You killed him. Then six more came, and you killed all of them. True. She knows about it, and you get that look in her eye of like, yeah, I know. Mm, well, I'd rather just go help the villagers. Can you take care of Olaf? I don't, you know, he, you know. What? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I did say that. I did. Yeah, that. no, no, you said the old man over there, or whatever. The old man over there. She goes, Sounds yeah, go, that's <laughs> fine. Look, you're gonna have to answer some questions when all this is over, you and everybody else, because you guys should not have access to what you have access to. And I wish you would have told me. Honestly, you know, I've never you given know, thought... you any reason <clears throat> to not come forward with the abilities that you all have. I mean, I'm pretty sure Tribute knows exactly what I can do. No, we all know now. Every single one of us. Yeah. We know. Well. Disappointed. But you're more used hurts. to me. You know that hurts, Mark. You're, you're more you used know. to me alive than you are dead. Please go and take care of those villagers. Make sure that it's they... A scary, it's a scary time going through what I'm going through in my body. Right. You know? Right. Yep. <laughs> Yep, you're going through some changes. Finally hit yeah. puberty. Yeah. My, my emotions. I understand. Now, please, we're wasting time. <laughs> this guy's gonna... And <laughs> just another fucking explosion yeah. across. All right, so now we're going to roll over to good old Connor, your insight check of a six. I mean, everything this dude says is on the level, man. I mean, he has no reason... Um, 
He, to he lie to my you. My father, why would he lie to me? Seriously, I mean, look, <laughs> only thing he's told you is help is on the way. Help is on the way, dearie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he all he told you was that help was on the way. Um, that he showed up with a caravan, started fucking lighting off fireballs, and he's been basically doing guerrilla warfare this entire time. Um, he hasn't seen any other RKNI members out here, as far as he knows. He's waging a one-man war. So. Um. And it's at that point that you hear... <laughs> as Kexi jumps over this wall... And we're gonna slow this down a little bit. No. You see Kexi literally off of the ground trying to attempt to do that. Would you like to deflect her in any way as she's about to, as far as you can tell, attack a, 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 a good Samaritan that also is affiliated with a group that. The attack? So, so yeah, you like you um you? you don't even have to like try the yeah, right. Yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously she missed, but we'll say it's because you went no. You like caught the shield and pushed her to the side. Um, <laughs> and so Kexi, He's you my come old friend of my dad. So Kexi, you hit the ground as you hear Connor say. I just do a roll. Brrr. Yeah, it's one of those cool tactical rolls from uh, Dark Souls. You're like, doo, 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 doo. Back yeah, um, that stance immediately. Yeah, he, all the iframes. So, so that being that being said, um, uh, Deus and Zixi, you guys are just seeing like the spells have stopped for a second. Kaoken, are you getting up to go run to the ranch? I am going to do something else. When well, it is. Okay. Um, I'm as as this like he's processing, he's adding up things, and <laughs> he's gonna do. S- it's it's something. the big brain. What is the here. something you're gonna do? Because Zixie and Deus are in a holding pattern because they are confused right now um, until something happens. So it's it's uh, uh, it's gonna be either you or Kexi and Connor that make something happen from this point. Then at the start of my turn, you would see Kale can jump over. Um, whatever cover is behind right after he says something to uh uh margaret and then right. um like rages and then anamorph painfully into a giant strider and starts like yeah. whatever they sound like towards, okay. towards um, both of them go ahead and make me a dexterity saving throw at advantage because you see the danger coming would i be in um uh, sick Strider form at this point. Yeah. Okay, they're immune to fire. Okay. Um. Okay. But what about lightning? Are they no. immune to lightning? Oh, okay. That's weird. Okay, good. Oh, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. I'm glad that fire is the only thing that asks for dexterity saving throws. But no, no, no. It says you, as you, as you monstrously, yeah, right. As you monstrously roar and transform into this horrifying firebird. And begins okay. sprinting towards them. Uh, Kexi and Connie, you see, Jesus fucking... And he turns around and just launches a, a, a lightning bolt right back at you. You dodge out of the way in this. It's not like, um, we're not in combat. I'm not. I'm having him do this over, like, cover. Mm-hmm. You know, cover fire is always super inaccurate. Just, oh my god! We gotta get the fuck out of here! As he looks over at the two of you. Are you guys, Connor and Kexi, are you guys gonna do anything? Yeah, give me a second. Also, mark off the spell spot for hold person because you were ca- you were readying that to cast at him, and then you didn't. Unless you're going to still. Yes, I am. Then what is your DC? Not super high. This guy is probably gonna beat it. Sixteen wisdom. Okay, sixteen. Let me get to this character real fast. Have him make a save. I believe his wisdom was high. Um, hiya, hiya, hiya. Olaf the Observant, School of Divination Wizard. Bitch. God, he was so much fun to play. Yeah, he was a lot of fun. Um, wait for it. So, uh, you do the incredibly obvious spellcasting thing that 
you are at this point used to. You said 16? Yeah. He rolls a natural 20 plus 5 for a 25. Um, as That's my boy. As, uh, as he goes, you little fucking traitor! And he is going to blink out. So, Olaf is gone. Uh, the three of you are standing there as as uh, Kaokin bird form approaches. <laughs> and Deus and Zixi, you guys would see this. Margaret stands up and is like, where did he go? He left. Because you two can't talk. It's always fight, 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 fight. Stupid. I hate it. Followed by... <laughs> Fuck you, everybody. Uh, Kexi, Kaoken, uh, and uh, Connor make me a dexterity saving throw. Damn it. I hate this man. Sorry, I should have asked that advantage. Uh, no, you. Because no, 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 he, no, he no, blinked no. out. Natural nice. Five for me. Okay, nice. so. So five, 23, and 21. Kaoken's. Okay, so here's the thing. Kaoken's the only one who uh, who failed, but also he's in burb form, so fireball doesn't uh, affect him. The rest of you guys save, so you're only going to take half damage. As he blinks back out, um, you guys are going to take 16 points of damage, the two of you. I have resistance, so that's damn... That's so knocked then that's down. knocked down to eight. You have fire resistance? Yes, I do. Your I finally right? located it on the fucking screen, so... Piece of shit! <laughs> yeah. Because I remember you had it, and then we were like, oh yeah, don't you get that? You're like, no, 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 different thing. Yeah, and it's like, oh, motherfucker. need saving throws. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. I thought yeah. it used to be. No, it's yeah, on the it's right-hand under, side. And I'm yeah, just, under resistances. Just, resistances and conditions. Yeah. Um, But all right, so uh, so you take eight, Kexi, you take 16 points of fire damage, and he blinks back out. So... What are you I've guys doing? The technique of a man who once did this and destroyed many enemies. It was really annoying to his teammates. What would you yeah, guys like to I've do? I've literally seen this too. There's a way to, to, to fight it. Am I able to hold an action? Yes, you are. When he blinks back in. That is entirely possible. <laughs> okay. I'm yep. going to hold an action to... Real fast. Let's take a bathroom break. We'll come back to this in just a second, okay? Yeah. Go get some water, go get some aura gel, go get some oral, and we will be right back. I believe Kexi was about to hold Shield Warrior. And what's the range on Shield Warrior Bash? What is it? Oh, right. The holding action. Okay. I got confused. Five feet. Okay. So. Hey, Zixi, what are you guys doing? Are you guys still just like watching this from like 30 feet away or whatever? So which which part? Are we talking about the part where uh it, it, now is the same scene of uh who she's trying to hit with the shield and who's losing blink? Yeah, so Kexi runs up, goes to run over, and you see her roar up, like as she goes over, he just goes, You hear fucking traitor, and then blip. And he's gone. You guys could barely see the top of his head from where you guys were standing as he was behind cover. And you saw Connor, the top of Connor's cloud strife hair, like as they were talking. You see Kexi go to run yeah, and jump over. And then you this, see, well, you, then you see the... Ka Kaoken jump out from across the street and start charging. And that was when he went Bip, and he's gone. And is this where like she was telling us to like go before? Margaret said to get him. Oh, to get to get this little old man. Basically, stop him. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess I'd be confused. I don't want to fuck with this mage, but I guess when he pops out, you know, I feel a little better. Uh, I'd go around to where he was. Mm -hmm. I'd also hold action. What is your action? <clears throat> I guess a uh, lunar explosion for where he pops back in. All right. If it's in my eyesight. Well, or I guess 60 feet. I mean, <laughs> okay. Touch Zixi. No, I mean? it's, it's rare frost. Yeah. 
Yes. What are you doing, bud? You doing? Oh, I'm gonna run over to Ko Ken. Yep, Ko Ken's in bird form. He's he he had just crossed the street. So what you and Deus saw was Ko Ken <laughs> jump to the left, jump over, talk, come back out, and go, and then turn into the bird thing and sprint across the street, and a fireball drop on him. I uh, run. <laughs> run over but i can get to him though right okay okay yeah yeah you can uh, technically I'd, ride me too mm -hmm. I'd run over be like skin tag Ew. <laughs> the skin tag what are we doing what's going on <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds exactly like what a skin tag would say. So, <laughs> um, jump on his back and hold on by the skin tag. Throws. So, sure, hell yeah. Because remember, we were talking about the little salamander that rides yeah, on the back of the. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He's actually just a skin tag. All right. Yep. Um, so, Kexi, you are holding, um, you're holding Shield Bash. Uh, uh, fucking Deus is holding his Lunar Explosion, and Connor, you are holding what? Nothing. Connor did his whole turn. His okay. Whole action last turn. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, <clears throat> ten feet away, to the north, you hear. You see what you can accomplish when, and uh, that's going to prod Kexi to turn around and he's going to swing and a miss because he's 10 feet away, not 5 feet, and that is going to proc the Ray of Frost, so Ray of Frost is going to hit, and I have to make a, or a Lunar Explosion, and I have to make a Constitution Saving Throw. 15, buddy. Yeah, got to be a 15, or what? What happens? He takes cold damage and he's reduced by 10 feet. Movement? You're muted. You're muted. Oh, I was in the button beside the button. <laughs> uh, he takes cold damage, mm -hmm. and his next attack is at disadvantage. Perfect. He makes an eight. So he takes the cold damage. Go ahead and roll that cold damage. All right. So he takes nine points of damage. <clears throat> As you come up and you kind of... What does it look like when you use your lunar explosion of cold? Uh, so he kind of makes some type of gesture at them, you know, of course, doing the, yeah. uh, yo, yo, boy, yo, yo, boy, yo, yo, it's, it's verbal and psionic, so, okay, yeah, so he do something like that, and then, uh, if, if we're outside, it kind of, like, show the moon glow, and then he just be hit with this, okay. uh, explosion on his chest, otherwise, you just see, like, a little, uh, crescent moon just appear on him and explode. Oh, nice. And if it misses, it would you know appear beside him or something. Right, 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 right. So it's just it's just like an image that just latches on. Um, that happens. He takes that damage, and uh, he he looks. He goes, really. <laughs> and so also, uh, Davis does not look like he's having fun. Like he doesn't like when he does it. He kind of is like. Oh, like it's hurting him to do it. Yeah, yeah. He goes because he does not want to fight another mage. I hate being a hypocrite. So, so no. So he, so he looks right at you guys, right? Everybody does this. Everybody goes. You understand what things you can accomplish when you don't have someone oppressing you every single fucking day, and then he blinks out. All right, what are you guys gonna do? In the top of the round, or yeah, yeah. I'm holding my, I'm holding my action again. Okay, are you gonna run to where he was, or are you gonna just stand where you are? I was just stand. Right. Oh, okay, and you're okay, okay, okay. And then Kaoken, uh, you'd see Kaoken come up and this like glowing heat in its in the giant strider's throat as he's holding action to let loose a sixty foot cone of fire that you've seen before. Right, right, right. And you're gonna release that in the direction that he's in yeah so i'm like kind of like 
wide eyeing Kexi right. and, like, <laughs> and, and, yep. and and Deus and Connor like okay. I'm can I try to get to a spot where I'm not close to like so I'm thinking like okay, this guy's about to do something with fire. I see the munchkin doing something. Everyone's like charging up. I wanna run for safety. Yeah, quick. that's a great idea. So, you can yeah, get I the fuck get out of dodge. From, like, yeah. So that I'm not in the range of a fireball on anyone. Yeah, sure. And I want to hold action to heal. If someone gets, I want, I want to heal the most hurt person. Okay. Um, who is so, most hurt? I don't think any of you guys have taken damage yet. So that's, that's oh, never mind. Prop. That's right. That's my problem. Uh, Kexi, Kexi is the one who has has taken the most damage. Sixty, what are you doing? Uh, go ahead and roll your healing, uh, uh, Deus. You're getting out of the way, and then you're going to I'm heal. Out of the way, and I'm, and I'm holding. I oh, you're holding, holding healing for whoever yeah, takes trick. the most damage. Yes. Gotcha. All right, and then if, it's, if they're uh, part of my team, of course. Naturally. So I'm, I'm on the back of, uh, Kaoken. Oh yeah. fuck, that's right. I, I, so Let's I'm get back. already out of the way. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> he appears. You're okay. Like in the air. He appears in the air. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, like straight up. I don't understand why you're doing this. Who the fuck are you people? And what have you done with this town? Are you going to roll that damage? Oh, yeah. It's only five. I got three ones. Don't forget. <laughs> so it's five fire damage. Five fire damage. Four d six. Yeah, he's not even. He's not even going to try to get out of the way. He's like, "You're not too bright, are you?" Well, look, as he's like doing the Peter Pan stance up there, right? He's like, "Hey, you see how easily I could beat you guys with just a thought." Think about your alliances, and he is going to fly away. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you see him fly into an arc, into another spot in the city. What do you guys want to do? He's gone. Margaret's like, what the fuck was that? I'm moving over to Margaret. Yeah. yeah. She's like, if, you, if, we're, if we're done here... We need to go save these people. Make sure that they're secure and get them like okay. Yeah. I want to know who attacked know. the city first. Whose troops were here first? Whose troops were here first? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, uh, my young fiendish no, friend. No, 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 no. Listen yes. to what I say. Yes. If you're not going to listen, then I'm going to have to end this discussion immediately. Is that understood? So, so, if you would like to know, I can tell you. The facetious answer is that I've been here for several months. So, technically Black Four or Black Veil has been here, although we like to call ourselves the Ordo Praetoro Magica, but that's fine. But if you would like to know who attacked this town first, I do not know. I came out of my abode to a fireball landing on it, and I saw both sides attacking each other simultaneously. Is that okay for you? Since you're clearly the judge of what is right and wrong, did you hire us as guards? I didn't hire anybody. And you know that. I've never hired anybody to do anything. I, I'm sorry. She's within I, five feet of me. Right? I, I meant like... Yeah, she's within five feet of you. I meant like use as a group. Never used anybody, hired anybody to do anything. Only thing that my job is, and I've said this every single time. So please. Open your ears and close your mouths because this is the last time that I'm going to say this to any of you. If you develop magical powers, as most of you obviously have at this point, then please report and we can get you trained in how to properly use them. 
If you find people who have uncontrolled magical powers, please bring them to us so that way we can train them how to properly use them. I'm a broken record every goddamn day. And yet here you are grilling me like you're the fucking Shire Reeve. Anybody else? Is she, is she kneeling down? No, yeah. she's standing. I want to put a hand on her shoulder. If you touch her, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You, everyone okay. would see the giant strider with its monoocular vision because it's trying to like see everyone. <laughs> 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 um you want to put a hand on her shoulder yeah one sec i'm pulling up her character sheet now dave takes a step <clears throat> back <laughs> as you go to do that she is going to say touch, touch. me and I will consider it an act of war on a personal level from an arcane eye member to a black veil security. So you won't even take words of gratitude. I is will not take a gesture from somebody who is walking to me, commanding me to tell them to do stuff as if they are my boss. You, I sir. I have never are a sure. punk kid who is telling me to tell you exactly what happened, whose troops, as if you own your own army. I'm under no interrogation, nor are you in any position to tell me what to tell you. Touch me, and you will die. That is a fact of life. Let's head out already. Please. Continue to the ranch, and make sure that the rest of the innocent people who have lived here far longer than any of us are okay, and are not being killed by these Arcane Eye members. Alright, uh, Dave's just gonna just head that way then. He's gonna, uh, yeah, Same. start, yeah, start doing a little light jog. She, she, a little she, light jog? I'm dashing. You guys, you guys see, as you all, like, pass her... She's just like very serious faces. And you see, like, again, like her eyes are basically illuminating this, like, almost neon blue. And you see her, like, just every single one of you guys. She is just multi pointing on your, like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Like, she's taking a log of you guys. As you guys go where? To the ranch. I guess to the ranch, yeah. Um... You're going to follow orders. <laughs> when, when I, when I pass Alright, what? I yeah. want to pass her, I want to say in Slovian, uh, Shahane watches over you. Who are you talking to? He's talking to Margaret. Oh. And, and Sylvan. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sylvan. Sylvia. Right. Sylvia. Sylvia Vlakian. So. Um, um, dashing a hundred feet with. Did Connor yeah. want to say anything as he was leaving? No, he just stare at her and just smile as. Way. Can I? Can I say something as I'm leaving? Sure. <laughs> yeah. As I, as a right. uh, hundred feet dash. I'm gonna name you Jeremy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Maybe someday I will be a scream beast. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> and, as, and as I hear, as I hear Ko can make his weird You're on my scream. back, dude. When I hear him make this screeching noise, I pull on the skin tag. Ah, gross. Oh. So. Yes. What it's is raining. it? Come on. Ew, oh, like it's rains? <laughs> Just. Pull on this. It looks like a salamander. Damn, it. that's nasty. Let's see if I get my recharge for my fire. <laughs> just gonna turn your articulating head all the way around and just breathe it right on. All right, so, um, yep, everything looks about in line. Is Margaret also? She's not going Margaret? with you guys. No. Oh. Um, you guys see this? Does everybody have vision here? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, cattle ranch. You see 
There's a bunch of villagers here. Um, let me change this fucking music because it's not quite so jolly anymore. No. Um, <laughs> I can't hear the music anyways. So. Uh, this might. You know, they're all dead. Oh, oh this is. See, look. You like how all of them are, are doing it at the same time now? Are they? Yeah. Oh, no, nice. watch. See, look. See how it says stop for one two three four five different fucking songs What's the icon above the entire playlist uh it literally says now playing and it has a list of them um no 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 for so they're well, only a, because they're the a... other ones are low but you can hear all right we'll so just do if, this if it's in a playlist yep there's a button to the side of it so you can do a repeat a once repeat ah because or... it was yes. on simul play Yes. Because that makes sense. Let's put that on there. All right. Thank you, sir. That makes far more sense. So. Yeah, it's stupid. Um, you guys all approach this area. Um, wait for it. Wait for it. Go. Go. Or, wait. Go ninjas. Go ninjas. Go. That's it. Um, That's it. So this is what you guys see. Uh, here is a pretty crude drawing, but this is, this is what you would uh, see for the ranch. All of these villagers here. Um down a little bit all of these villagers here are 100 percent calm they are walking right by each other um and as they pass by each other they like almost almost when they get within range of like within not range of like uh like close enough to have a conversation they just go oh hey hey what's going on that's yeah, pretty good and then they like keep walking something seems off here you're muted. Oh, no, no. This isn't this isn't normal behavior at all. Hey, does anyone have a? Uh, uh, I was gonna say, does anyone uh, is anyone able to discern whether they've been put underneath a spell to calm them? Can I use Arcana to see if that? Happens? Mm, sure. Why not? Ten. They no fucking. Go clip. right up to this one. Right up to that one. The guy's carrying some shit. Yeah, and like yeah, I don't know, hit, hit this shit off of him, like out of his hands. Um, as you do that, he kind of like looks at you like, that's not nice, and then picks it back up and like it's almost as if you're no no longer there as he continues to walk away from you. Wait, maybe. Maybe I can do something. Can I use performance to uh do a sexy dance for your friends? Yeah, exactly. Do a sexy dance for all the people and see if they notice me. Um, Since sure. I have the entertainer at the bar. Why not? Go for it. These will be performance check. Please. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys do see four horses up here that are just sort of like they're like they, they're always here, you know what I mean? But they, they are just like they're also super just like hey, there's a lot of visitors today holy shit uh yeah dude right you now. guys you guys see um you remember strip tease with the bucket of water <laughs> deus or not deus connor is doing the performance of a lifetime right now doing a burlesque dance he's rolling hips and stepping in line like he is Fucking well, hot, Rod Stewart. If you think I'm sexy, <laughs> yeah. As he sings a Rod, a Rod Stewart song. Over the horse trough and the horses. Are like, oh, really? gross. Really? Yeah, what but it's the on? feed. Bro. It's the can feed I, one. Can I do a perception check to discern if there's anyone that seems to be in charge here? Um. Yeah. Go for it. Uh. You guys can move. By the way, you guys are are totally able to to do what you got to do. Move where you want to go. Anything you want to inspect, so on and so forth. Does anyone seem to care about uh -oh. the dancer now? Nope. Any of the villagers? Mm -mm. They're not responding. I after, move after like a few moments. Can As I move, oh, sorry, Shane, real quick, you, real quick. You, you let's do one more uh, initiative here, real fast, because it seems like we might want to just to just so that we can organize Ooh, ourselves. Plus one with the strider. Right. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay. So far, all in line. So far, all in line. What am I missing? Kana? No, Kana's on top. No, Connor's not on top. Connor. Oh, and of course, Connor has to be the outlier. <laughs> so first up, Kexi, what would you like to do? Uh, where well, my perception was not well. Right. What was it? It was a 
five. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's pretty obvious as far as you can tell. There's nobody that's like, none of these people, and it's there's a lot of people here. None of them are moving with any sort of like, like urgency. urgency. None of them have the alertness of being someone who could even be considered in charge. I am. I don't have a good feeling about this. This is very odd, and this is not how people would normally. Give me, give me an insight check. Insight. Bing, 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 bing. Oh no. Um. Oh no! I dropped my dice. Here's the thing. These people are acting an awful lot like livestock. Yeah, that's yeah. I assume I'm... you guys are saying that mm-hmm. yeah. and they're also corralled in a pen i'm going to um step outside of the pen <laughs> right one of them just comes up to you nay nay winnie, so, winnie. I, I, and i'll, I'll <laughs> say that to, to, to my party like these they're not acting like people they're acting like I'm... livestock and they're in a pen i'm not staying in there no yeah connor's like connor's like Button it up his suit, his shirt again. Either. Oh yeah. So, uh, Dave, uh, you're up next. Down. No, wait, Connor's up next. You did your, you did your sexy dance. I'll give you one more thing. Whatever you want to do, since no, you're Connor's, on. Connor's, Connor's, Connor's like waiting, putting on his shirt and his okay, uh, on and his. Uh, oh, you got. Oh, like, sick. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's. He's like, yeah. He's like, we need to get out of here. All right, so Dave. No one town. Uh, I want to try to grapple this guy next to me and bring him out of the fence with me. Sure. He's not, she's not going to fight it. You can drag him out. Um, oh, he's just going to like that? spill him over the fence and let him fall over and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, he kind of like looks up and he's like, what a fucking dick. <laughs> and then he's going to get up and he is just going to begin walking away. Like kind of like, not really like in a direction. He's not walking like he has a purpose. He's just like casually strolling, like, all right, whatever. He's <laughs> gonna watch him just. Uh, <laughs> K.O. Ken. Is Zixi still on my back? No. Oh, he is okay. outside of the fence, it looks like. Okay. Um, then I wanna. How tall are the, uh, the stack of, uh, they go up to about fifteen feet. I mean, these are these are some pretty massive bales. In fact, they're bales that you've you've put together from the wheat and the hay. Okay. So I mean, you know, you're a big I, boy. I, I want to climb up there. I think I'm still in the giant giant strider. Has it been more than one hour? It hasn't been more than one hour. You probably got like another fifteen minutes left or so. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, you're able to with the movement. I'll dash up there, mm-hmm. flap my useless wings. Sure. You get up and there, just post up, and I uh, just perceive what's if there's any threats coming. Roll me that perception check. Okay, twenty-three. Oh fuck! Did you see sounds? Um, so, oh, I, I see the wind. I can't so see yeah, now. the color of the rainbow. Um, yeah. so as you um as you're looking around, you do notice um, so you guys are on the east side of the town, right? On the western edge of the town, you do notice a little bit of, um, like, essentially magical artillery. Like, it gets a little loud over there. Um, maybe some people have found each other. Whatever. But there is some, like, you see streaks of crossfire happening. A couple of explosions, small explosions, not like a fireball or anything like that. But you do see some exchange of magical artillery. Um, next up. Zixi, what are you doing, bud? You just getting the fuck out of Dodge? Yeah, I'm sitting on the outside. I'm gonna... Can I move a little bit further? Can I also do... Like... <clears throat> I guess I'll move to, like, this guy that's a little bit closer. Right. Oh, can I do... <sighs> Sorry. Um, can I do like an investigation on like the, um, like the, I guess border of this to see if I like notice anything about it? 
Oh, on the fence? Like the, the uh -huh. livestock fence? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Roll me an investigation. It's, um... Well, it's made out of wood. You can tell that it's made out of... Each piece is made out of solid pieces of, like, like tree trunk, right? These things are, you know, a couple of feet wide each. They're fairly heavy. They're meant for, um, holding a bunch of livestock. There used to be cows, horses, yada, yada, yada. Other than that, there's nothing nefarious going on. Um, with said, uh, Inocha. Okay. Oh, whoops. So, um, in that case, uh... Is everybody going to be in a holding pattern until something else happens? Or you guys have other things that you want to investigate or look into? Or do you want to move people out? Or do you want to get horses? What, what do you guys want to do? I want to, like, scan and see if there's anyone that I actually recognize there. Oh, sure. Yeah. There's there's a bunch of people that you recognize. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure that um, I'm not just, like... Yeah, these aren't, I, these aren't, like, dummy people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, these yeah, are, okay. these are, these are all villagers that you guys have had plenty of, of interactions with, um, you know, throughout your daily lives the last couple of months. They do various jobs, stuff like that. You guys see a bunch of, like, key people here as well. Um, but they all, they're all just acting like livestock. Like, they, they're acting calm, right? They're acting, like, polite and jovial with each other as they pass by, but it's always, like, a glancing thing. They don't seem like they're high and hazy. They just seem relaxed and calmed. We should, someone should ask them a question. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> I think we should report this. Oh, hold on. I think we've been lied to. I think we need to report this to Margaret. No. I, I think that she already knows. I think that these people were placed in here and something was done to them to make them relaxed. This is not normal behavior. There's a spell for that. Would Connor actually know that? Yeah, it's a, cl a cleric spell is uh, okay. calm emotion. So, uh, to the guy I have, I'm uh, I'm gonna look at him and use the command spell and say, "What happened?" Okay. Um. So you're commanding him to tell you. Yeah. Right. Tell me what you know. Um. He oh, just kind of looks at he he looks he's like. Well, um, I was doing the dishes. I heard a commotion, so I came out. Uh, over there, he was in his basement. Uh, I was doing the dishes, and then, you know, we came out. And what we saw over there, double points if you get that reference, and what we saw outside um, was just a fight. It was like crazy amounts of magic. Um, Margaret came over. There was a bunch of us. We were starting to try to fight these guys, but I mean, we don't have magical abilities, right? So, like, they were just cutting people down. I mean, they were fucking us up. And, um, luckily, Margaret came, fought off a couple of these arcane eye guys. At least that's what she told us who they were. They were wearing, like, white. Um, <clears throat> and they were just, like, I don't even know how to describe the spells that they were, that they were shooting at us. They, they, um, Big balls of fire. Uh, they had uh, one guy was like, he did some stuff and like all the coins in his pocket came out and like shot at people as we were trying to like hold him down. Uh, it was really weird. Um, and then Margaret came and she helped us. And then um, next thing I know, like we're all here and we're just like hanging out. I feel pretty good. Before I was freaking out, but now I feel great. Okay. Uh, thank you. No problem, Deus. <laughs> he's he's gonna. I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of in earshot. Did I hear any of that? Yeah, you heard the whole thing. My um, is, is there forcefully calm? Mm-hmm. Do we know what kind of robes the arcane eye actually wear? 
Well, you know what the one old guy is, what he was wearing, which he was, was... He wearing white? Mm-hmm. He was wearing white. Oh, okay. Um, it was kind of dirty, but it was, like, white robes. There was some, like, light leather, um, like, on the outside of it. Uh, there was no, like, discernible, like, symbolism or anything besides what was on his hand. Mm. <clears throat> Mm. Oh, I don't know what to do. What did Margaret say? Margaret told us to come up here and make sure the people were safe. I don't I, trust anyone. It appears that we have done that. I think she wanted us out of the battle, so we didn't ask questions. Mm. An inquisitive mind is often feared by both sides of a battle. Um, well, on one hand, we can say complete. On the other, he just kind of points back to get back into the action. So, as you guys are talking, you guys kind of look out and you're trying to figure things out. And, um, <clears throat> as you all... Me, old man, yeah. yeah. You hear, um, people of Arthenvale, fret no longer, help has come. And you all see, there is this, like, kind of poorly formed circle of these, like, uh, clearly Black Veil people in the front. And then there's this, like, quattro, <laughs> like this, this foursome of people in the back, one of which is standing up on top of one of these big hay, uh, bales of hay. Um, you see Margaret in the front, and she's just looking somberly, like, like just completely stoic and straight-faced. Uh, you see this blue tiefling with, like, these, like, like, dark blue horns that kind of ombre out to this like incredibly light almost like a frost looking one but they're covered in like this like this like fur almost as it comes out and then it just tapers off to this like bright blue bone um he's got this massive um sapphire in his head um that is like it looks like it's part of his fucking forehead maybe it was an amethyst i can't remember anyways um sapphire sapphire that's and then you see this guy in all black, black eyes, big, huge, like caricature, large eyes with this massive curling smile, like his mouth, like it goes farther back than any normal mouth should. And it curls into like a mustache curl. <clears throat> and on the back end, like on top of this bale of hay is this really long, lanky figure. Um, he's like, um, Probably close to like seven feet, but the, the, the profile is thin. And you see underneath, you see this really sharp, like a pointed chin, a very sharp angular nose. And he's got, even from your guys' distance, which is quite far, you can see these like radiant gold eyes underneath this cowl. As he is the one that is speaking to the rest of the, of the, the, the pen. And he says, uh, Hearth and Vale citizens, help has arrived. We thank you for your calm manner in which you waited for the assistance, and we apologize that you had to suffer at the hands of the arcane eye. And you see everybody just kind of like, this guy's obviously, by the way, augmenting his voice magically in some capacity, right? He's, he's like, this is a boom. And everybody's like, oh, hey, thanks, man. Um, <clears throat> he, uh, he's like, unfortunately, most of the town, I fear, cannot be safe. Which is why I, those of you who are here, I extend sanctuary back at the base of the Black Veil. Please, my apology. You know us as the Black Veil. We are the Ordo Praetoro Magica. 
We are the protectors of magic. Now I know many of you only know Margaret, and you only know the kindness that she has offered forward. I must warn you, some of you may have heard this propaganda smear campaign that many people have against our organization, but I can assure you that we are for the people. Does anybody want to do anything while he's doing this? Um, Kexi, are you moving anywhere? Are you doing anything? Deus, are you just listening? So Deus is listening and kind of watching everyone else's faces because he has no fucking idea whose side they're supposed to be on. <clears throat> and he doesn't right. want to be the first one to make a move. Right. <clears throat> because of his track record. So he's just kind of like, look, I'm just going to if we're with these dudes, whatever, you know, as long as uh, these guys aren't killing people for their god or whatever, like, yeah. I'm just going to say I'm very confused about Deus and how he works. So. <laughs> Same. So. I, I just. We've already, it's it. a dead horse. It's a dead horse. We can, we can beat on it later. Beat so, it. Beat it. Um, Connor, you're in the pen. Are you doing anything? You're muted. I moved. I moved out of the pen. Well, I, I still see your guy in the pen. Okay, well, I haven't moved the chair in the pen. Yeah, uh, you thought. Uh, we can say that. Yeah, I mean, I don't, his money. That means he. Gets, you know, because I was moving with. I was moving with Kexi. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, so, so you're out of the pen. So everybody is outside of this pen. But what is what is Connor doing? What's up? At this point, Connor's moving back towards the town. He's moving back towards the town. Yeah, like. Still looking at like the backwards walk, but very slowly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I have any intuition, as soon as they realize that this kid is one of the black, one of the arcane eye, I ain't gonna survive. And right. if Connor ever does come back, it's not gonna be me playing Connor. It's gonna right. be embrace the fertility. My you know, it is really funny that you say that. Make me a strength saving throw. You should be good at this. Ricky on the floor. Did I just see a hand go up? Yeah, Ricky's yeah. on the floor. Oh, so, okay. um, Connor, you're a strong boy. You know what I mean? You, um, you've taken your lumps. You've proven yourself in hand-to-hand -hand combat. One thing that you have never encountered before is mind power. Oh, bitch! As you feel yourself. Go kind of weightless in a way, and you are pulled telekinetically from where you are. As you start to back up, you are pulled into the center of this circle. Well, it would seem <laughs> we have a celebrity. I didn't Dance. know my dances were that spectacular. Dance is rapidly switching between looking at everyone. <laughs> yep. Is anybody else going to do anything right now? Um, if if that happens, I'm looking up long jump, and I'm trying to see what I can do. A standing long jump. I believe you can. I believe you can long jump. If you get ten feet, you can move your the number of feet equal to your strength number. And it is half of that if you are a standing long jump. So, long jump boy. Um, Kexi, doing anything? Move, but you want to move in? Can I still yeah. move? Okay, go ahead, move in. And stuff. Okay, I just want to jump down, and I think I'd probably be able to get here. That's forty feet. Right. Maybe some movement. I don't know. As and as at, I'm just gesturing to like, like stop, like the fuck like no one's not, gonna be able to that. read the bird <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna be able to read the bird um i guess i'm just getting closer <laughs> so uh make a long jump feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 when you do a standing you can only do half that distance so yeah i was right um yeah. so that's that but um <clears throat> as soon as you run in uh, mm -hmm. If he saw 
As soon as he saw Ko Ken start going, he's mimicking. He's doing the same thing. Okay, go ahead and it's... go ahead and, and run your full movement speed in. As it seems like we're getting into a tactical nature here. Can I actually yeah. move my hands? Is that thirty feet? Diagonal? Is thirty feet? Can I not do it diagonally? Whoa! Hold on a sec. Diagon really? Alley actually is how it's. Oh, it's thirty-five there. feet. You'd be back here. Uh, even alley. even in a straight line, yeah, which is you know it is what it is. But so yeah, so you're you're moving in right there. No problems uh, yeah. there. Why is this token never in the box? Uh, because it doesn't snap to the center. Weird. My hands move. So, um, as soon as you do, pip. Uh, yes. The <laughs> the guy who's the guy who's been visiting you very physically apparates next to you. Zixie, you doing anything? You moving in too? Uh, no. <laughs> I just kind of <laughs> see all this crazy shit happening and I'm just like... Right? And Kexi, you're staying out, just to yeah. double check. <laughs> right. So, you see this tall figure who's been talking he he takes a step, but he never steps down. He maintains his height as he levitates forward. And he is in the air. Well, he the son of Miramach and Yurelin. I was wondering when you would show your face. I've never hidden this face. I, you can't hide a face this beautiful anyway. I agree. Now, let's see if we can uncover another face. So, um, Kaoken, you move forward, and as soon as you get to where you're going, fucking tribute, he just, poof, he's like, I wouldn't do this yet, buddy. We are not here for violence. And given what you guys have been through in the last day or two, I wouldn't want to give anyone an itchy trigger finger there, okay, Ken? Hey, try to communicate in bird form. There's no way he's understanding what you're going to be putting out there. And I'm like, I'm scratching the ground, like, right. Um, <laughs> Deus. You, as soon as, as soon as you get to where you're going, um, this fella next to you goes, Hold my child. This is not the time for your death. He I understand. That really quick walk back and forth. What do you mean? So I remember when, uh, and he was trapped behind the force field where we won and oh oh you're just you're pacing okay okay yeah. i got you you're like yeah yeah you're pacing he's, behind the force field walk he's, back and he's forth. crab walking <laughs> yeah. hey, hey. so 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 you're you're pacing and he just careful now he's behind you and un that's oh an untimely well he's not behind him he's next to him right okay. he's yeah. he, he appears next to him he just i would not it would be unwise don't grab walk. For you to grab make walk. an untimely demise of yourself would not be beneficial to you, your goddess, or me. Yeah, he, 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 yeah he's not making a move. He's just kind of doing that. And like, he, he knows he's right. Right. Connor, how many hit points do you have? Oh, oh fuck. No. <laughs> 41. For welding force. Okay. So. You take 41 points of damage. Nope. <laughs> you take 500 points. <laughs> yeah. It only no, takes 82 one. points of damage to kill him. <laughs> I should have had the link up for the spell that he's using. But I don't. So. I'm gonna need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Big money, big money, big oh. money. Oh, what do you got? Shit, dude, he critted. He critted? Nice. Okay, thank God. Okay. 
Oh my! I mean, God. I mean, no, that's that's great. <laughs> okay. Probably more problems for us. But as you good. feel, or as you see, uh, not feel, you see the man in front of you go. Come forward, Migramach. And as he does that, you hear the 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 triple resonant voice of yeah. of spellcasting. Obviously, as you feel this searing mind-numbing pain ripple across your body imagine a tarantula hawk bite remember when coyote peterson did that you fall prone luckily you're not taking any damage as he casts a spell that may or may not have power word and pain in its name <laughs> and, and you and you begin to just roil in it. Like how you are right now. Your father <laughs> must very much hate you. Oh, I wouldn't know. I don't talk to him. So, the pain leaves. It's, a, it's an instance. You fucking hit the bottom and you're done. But you are coated in your own sweat. Yeah. I will not say this another time. Could you please call him for me? I don't want to tire summoning him. I don't Come on. know how to summon my dad. Come on. Can I get up? Are the- you lying or do you actually not remember? You're muted. It's ten. No, I'm not. Oh, you're 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 gay. Do you not remember? Like, does Josh no. not remember? I don't think I do. Okay, so um, I know that there's a necklace to summon the. So uh, the necklace of Gerard is a sarcastic name that you gave it because it's supposed to summon your father for help, but you always call and you always get Gerard. Negative inspiration. I'm taking your inspiration. So yeah, that was that was what I had said at the. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. But um, but that. At least, at least that's what that's what Josh now remembers, and Connor would know. But if Connor doesn't want to, Connor doesn't have to. No, I think I I, I mean like it's it's the same thing as if you wait every day for your dad to get home. Eventually, you're just gonna forget that your dad's coming home, and you'll be like, oh, I used to do something out here, whatever. Right. So yeah, no, I think honestly Connor would have forgotten that this was supposed to summon his dad. So no, Connor would be like I don't talk to the guy anymore. So uh, you know I can't just like hey dad, how you doing? And then he goes, hey son, how you doing? I'm disappointed in you. Why are you a stripper? And I'm please like, tell oh, me, sorry, please dad. tell me you're actually saying that. What? Please tell me you're actually saying that. Yeah, no, no, no. Connor is actually saying that. <laughs> okay, make me a constitution saving throw. Don't fail me now, Dice. Come on, another nat 20. That's Woo! all you need. Whoa, that's really good. Nice. Yeah, good. I mean, was that was that a good one? Yeah. What'd you roll? Yeah. A dirty 20? Perfect. Yeah, I, I get an 18 plus 2. Thank God, I can't handle this. You take half damage. <clears throat> so, um, oh. as he casts Finger of Death, he looks at you and he goes, I said to summon your father. And you see the Frieza beam. Pew! Right straight into your chest. <laughs> um, half of that is do you die? He's unconscious for sure. Half of what? Half half of sixty seven points oh, of damage. He's, oh he's no, got no 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 forty one. So you're uh, you're I'm at, at like six. Yeah. Okay. No, four. No wait, you said thirty seven damage. You said so, sixty four. Uh, it would be it would be thirty three. 33 is what you take. Okay. So yeah, I have, I, have save, about, I have about nine. Okay. <laughs> Toy with me further. Bumble Clud. <laughs> you want to give me an inside check? Yes. After a second. Can I inside check myself to see if I have poop in my pants? <laughs> <laughs> oh no he's gonna That's do it good. he's gonna do it 
He's going, he is going to fucking kill you. And, yeah. and you are your own father. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so, your father. It was me. The no, um, he. That's as far as I forgot last dude, time. he is. He is going to fucking kill you. So let's hold off on this for a second. Um, yeah, you can you can stand up, but yeah, like I want to get to other people. Yeah, yeah, he takes a. You got a hole in your fucking chest, my guy. Yeah, uh, Kexi. Anything you want to do as you're watching this display of Connor. Someone is beckoning him to talk. Oh yeah, by the way, let me, let me, uh, what would you like to do? And I'm going to throw up a picture of the guy that you guys see. The one who's doing all of this horrible stuff. I am going to already get the sense that we are going to be outnumbered. So I'm uh, not going to enter, but I'm like in, like my hands are like on the fence, like intensely fucking watching, like. Right. Holy shit. So this is the guy that you see. He does have this necklace of three separate gemstones. Uh, one of them is black. Uh, it's not the red one. It's, it's black um, on it. And he has incredibly intense, very serious look on his face as he um, is doing this to, to Kana. Kana. Also, you would, see, you would see the green underneath his black cloak. Denoting him from other people. So, take that as you will. That is what you see. This is the man who is currently um, killing Connor. So, you don't know what to do. You're stuck. Right. Um, Deus. So, Deus is still pacing. Right. Uh, just like her, he has his grip on his weapons. All right. Um, um, in your ear, you, you are like in your head, you would hear, why have you not worn the cloak yet? It will keep you safe. My vestments? The ones that I gifted you. I need no more gifts from you. You are not Sahanin. I never said that I was. I thought you were. He's like, he, in my face changes. His is like, never unchanging, completely Cheshire cat. And he just, all you hear in your mind is, well, that's foolish of you to assume anything, young one. Perhaps next time you should consider conversing with someone who wishes to talk to you. He kind of looks out of the distance. When you're at the end, I guess you just want whoever grabs on. Fair enough. Make me a constitution saving throw. You should be good at those, right? No, wisdom. That's oh. why I've been chiefing out wisdom saving throws like a champ, not cons. Give yourself a level of exhaustion. <laughs> Perhaps remembering the hill that you must climb to beat your best will teach you the friends that will help propel you up that hill. Um, and he is going to take a single step back. Opportunity attack? Oh, um, no. Okay. So, Sixies, my man. What you doing? You're watching Connor get beefed the fuck out right now in the middle of this fucking, in the middle of this pen. Um, you don't hear or see anything besides the guy in black. This all black, all whatever fixture. He, like, this dude, wa like, teleported next to with not even a sound. No yo yum boy yum boy. Just, whoop, he was there. And then he takes one physical step, like, back. Like, does the five foot, like, back. Um, doesn't seem to be paying any attention to you. Just so you know. Okay. Um, would there be anything that I could roll to, like, maybe either, like, history or something, like, see if 
I remember anything of my master talking about any of these people. Because, like, I'm assuming I've heard of the Black Veil before. The Black Veil has not been around for that long. Okay. Um, let's see. You're like 150 ish. Um, you were wandering through the desert for a while until you got through the forest to Hearthenvale. Um, in that time, you may have heard about the Black Veil being. You don't even have to roll for this because it's very common knowledge in this area. The Black Veil have the ideal of magic, of the magic that we used to have, that the stories used to tell us about, where it was wild and free and everywhere, is what caused the ruination, uh, what they called the, uh, the uh, um, what was it, the weave plague or whatever. It's essentially spell plague, right? Magic failed. Now, people assume that it was because People were using magic for everything. Robots were made sentient. They made massive entire countries that were totally like, they had what we know as modern cars, not just carriages. They had airplanes and tanks and all of this stuff that was all ran off of magic. They had literally like magical franchises in every single like third world country had a fucking, uh, ascend the equivalent of a Starbucks, um, everywhere. Mm. And, yeah, it was called Magbox and Hearth Depot. And so, um, so when the world collapsed, basically, anything that was magic failed, ended completely. Um, or so they were told. And uh, the Ordo were the first, like, organization of people who showed that they had some sort of magical ability of prominence in this area and we're like hey let's learn from history and let's suppress this like crazy wild use of magic so that way we don't overuse the earth's mana or whatever the fucking thing was mm -hmm. and so that's what they've been enforcing this entire time now the way that they got the black veil is that they had um there were a bunch of people who had wild, like basically wild surge sorcerers, right? That would just show up and they'd be slinging spells left and right. And the black veil would show up. They would paralyze these people magically, throw a black veil over their heads and take them away. And then those people would either come back as members, they would come back lobotomized, or they wouldn't come back. That's what you would know of the black veil. That's what everybody in this like world knows well every all of you guys would know that because that's the rumor right that's like right. that's like how the freemasons formed the u.s or whatever you know what i mean like that's the the lore yeah. that everybody knows so i wouldn't be moving i would still just be watching all of this because obviously like i see Deus pacing back and forth and <sighs> I see Connor getting fingered to death. Oh yeah. <sighs> so I think I would just continue watching because I'm like I'm like too far to say anything to either any of one of them and I don't want right. to like emotions are high so I right. can't okay okay too crazy what are you doing bud um it's about this time your your wild shape is about to fail it's yeah, a it's I, about to be done so I you drop it at this point it, and painfully shift. yeah bones snap muscles pop back into spots where they're supposed to be and you eh. yeah tribute that that young man over there he's he's been doing some good he's uh <clears throat> I mean, you probably know, but we we killed some of the weaker, uh, you know, Black Veil people, and uh, when we were out on patrol. But I think there was a miscommunication. Look, I get it. You know, I'm all for culling the weak, but you you don't have the status, my man. Like you well, can't just go killing. I went out on a job. We did the thing, and then we got attacked. 
No, you didn't. I mean, I... I... Hey, you, you want me to show you? It'll only yes. take a second. Yep. He's going to put his finger to your forehead like he did the one time. He's going to uh, press. Uh, yep. So you're going to willingly fail the wisdom save. Yep. You die. No kidding. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, so you are, you are, you are thrown into like, uh, they went to plaid, you know what I mean? Like you are thrown yeah. into this scene mm -hmm. similar to the way it was before. He's right next to you. You're doing the whole, uh, Christmas carol, your ghost of Christmas right. future or whatever. Right. And what you'll see is you will see this, um, <laughs> stereotypical witch's cauldron, right? And you will see. Your little upside down trident amulet and the other ones that you have in the bag, you'll see the faint light from them and they glow this very, very faint gold light. Now, you don't remember ever seeing this physically, mm -hmm. but you do see this resonating off and pulsing off. And he goes, You see, look, we don't want any of our guys. To go doing stuff that they're not supposed to be doing. So these amulets here, they act as like an automatic scry success, you know? And you see the one that you, that you have on your person following you. Yep. And then you see Deus launch past you, and then he goes, and whoop, and it goes over to Pat, who's like, fuck is that over there? Raimi behind him. Booja moi, there's someone behind us. It is a robot, right? And then you see Deus, shield barrage, the whole battle ensues, and he goes right there. First blood? Come on. I don't even care about what was happening inside of the, of the dungeon. Ow. That was fine. I mean, to be honest, I feel like we just don't know enough. And if I knew more, maybe I wouldn't have. Right. You know, tensions were high. We almost died. Mm. Someone did die. Yeah. Got his face smashed in by an angel. I've never even seen an angel. And that. She's like a bitch. Yeah, you, you know about that? What about her? She seemed pretty terrible. Yeah. You know, so, I, you probably saw it, but I, I wanted to punch her, but I thought maybe it'd be better not to punch um, her. Look. I like. You know I like. Right? Right. Yeah. We're we're buds in this, right? Right? Yeah. I mean like, like yeah, if I can get my family back, I'll do like whatever you say. Yeah, we have to have but a talk about that. I need, I need to here's the thing. We can't trust you enough to not just go killing our guys willy nilly for me to be able to like let you in. And that's not coming from me. I I you you're my right hand man. But you got these people over here who are just killing people left and right. And I mean, look, these initiates, man, they come and go, right? We're about to get a bunch of them right here. You'll see what I mean. But like, I can't have you guys just blowing them away willy nilly, you know? And your family, look, you got to deal with Corin. That's his deal. That's not me. That's him. Right? I just, I just need you to get a handle on your people. And what are you doing with an arcane eye member? Honestly. Not only that, you got, that. you got like the guy's kid. You got the guy's kid. Hey, hey, this is how oh my I God. am to getting my family back. Look, you're welcome. You know, points, you know, bonus points. Let us, right? look. He's going to finish the job here, and then you'll get your brownie points, man. You, you might even get your family back maybe after this one. Maybe some information, you know. Yeah, or my maybe. family. Yeah, then I'm done, you know. Good. Cool. And you're back in here, and he's just standing there like, you see what I mean? And you're watching all this. He's like, just let's take a step back. You want to take a step back with him? Yeah, yeah. So he's going to take you both. No, 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 no. Where, wherever he, you want to go. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna you you're gonna follow him like back yeah. here. Right. Okay. And he's yeah. like, all right. All right. Um, who's left? I think that's back up to Connor. Hey man. Would uh would Connor have a flash of insight as he's about to knock knock knocking on heaven's door? Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, yeah. I can't hear you, you're muted. I was actually muted that time. I've thought about this. Yeah. As Connor's like getting up to his feet, he like rips his shirt off, revealing the glowing blue runes on his chest. And instead of the three voices that are usually accompanied with magic, it's just two voices, common and one speaking in infernal. Nice. He says, show them. Show them your true colors. Kill the demon that gives life. And you'll raise more of an army than you've ever faced in your life. And then he lets go of his chest before looking back to his companion. Okay. And then looking back to the guy. Make me an intelligence saving throw. Oh, fuck. Her. The one. Oh, yeah, but this time it's not a sleep spell. Don't worry. Nice. It's a 19. Nice. You, sir, you're like. That's a natural 20, not a 19, dude. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, but I got a modifier. But there's a minus one. That's bad. And you're like, because everyone in this group decided to make intelligence the dump stat. And you're not like, me. and not, not Zixi. Dumb, dumb. So not you, me. you go. <laughs> the army, and then the, and you look, and you've got a brick wall in front of you. Look to your left. The hallway to your right. The hallway. It's all brick. And an open sky at the top. Are there any Roll me here? an investigation check. God damn it, more intelligence? Are you kidding? You're positive. You're in a maze. The spell maze! Uh, so, you all see... You all see him disappear. <laughs> you all see him disappear. Well, good people of Hearth and Vale. <laughs> we'll resolve that later, but we are experiencing a severe decrease in membership. And I'm wondering if anybody would like to help fight the good fight. Um, you will get pay, room, board. You will get Restricted magical abilities that will be granted to you. All you have to do is accept. And you will be free to pursue whatever you wish in life. Um, I need one person to volunteer for a die roll. Amanda. Okay. Amanda. <laughs> okay. I need you to roll me a D100. Here we go. The lower, the worse. Uh, lordy. Oh. Oh. All right, we're going to just call that a 40, which means about 60% of these people are going to agree. Uh. And they, he directs them to begin moving towards the middle. He's like, if you would, please, we have um, just a little bit of uh, bureaucracy, if you will, to go through, as that's about all of them within this circle of Black Veil vale, uh, members. So, repeat after me. I, state your name, and then everybody else goes, I, state your name. If anybody else wants to join in, on, you totally can. And he goes, no, no, no. Say your name. I, and then they all state their names. Hereby solemnly swear to, um, al what is it? Uh, I swear allegiance and fealty to the Ordo Praetoro Magica. And then he rambles off a few arcane phrases that resonate with the magical spellcasting. They all ramble off the same thing, and their voices hit that resonant triplicate. And that is when you all watch as 
this black dome of like darkness envelops the entirety of this and there is silence and that's where we're going to end it tonight that was fun <laughs>